welcome to the live stream. Happy to <laughs> now, just now with sound, <laughs> you were still muted. <laughs> so, okay, Eric just told me I was still muted, but I was saying welcome to the live stream, guys. So, uh, really happy that you stopped by. Of course, I'm Ja here, and today I'm with Eric. Hello, right everybody. Here. And per usual, of course, as Corona is still a very serious issue, he is not really here. We're not sitting next to each other, being responsible, because, you know, as you can see, it, yeah, you guys should know already. Um, yeah, so uh, what I'm going to do today, you can already see it, it's right here sitting in front of me, this beautiful beast. So we're going to talk, uh, talk about, you know, what this guy is all about, uh, the insides, the outs. Uh, we're also going to do some benchmarks live, uh, we also go through some, uh, a few games live with some benchmarks and gameplays to show you guys the performance. But today we also have two nice guests joining us of one which is the designer of this little guy right here. And the other one is one from Intel. So we'll have uh, two guys coming over for you guys and uh, yeah, really have to look out for that. And we'll also address something uh, what you guys might have already heard about. So the RTX 30, uh, 30 series. I think everybody knows about 3080 yeah. and all the issues. Yeah, so uh, yeah, we're also going to address that today too for you guys. Even though this is not a VGA live stream, but we know you guys all want to hear it. Yeah, well, so we this one is 3080 and, and it's important because uh, yeah. now the issues are finally fixed. So we want to clear some things up. Yeah, so we already uh, released a statement Monday or yesterday. I think yesterday. <coughs> but uh, we also want to show you guys, you know, what's coming up in the next three weeks. Uh, so, so just so you guys have an idea, you know, of what you can look forward to. Uh, so yeah, next week we're going to be uh, doing some, yeah, optimizing of your uh, gaming storage with Seagate. Yeah, together with Seagate, so we have a wide range of storage products. Uh, will be pretty interesting. Uh, somebody from Seagate will also join to answer all your questions about storage you have. So make sure to ask. And then the week after that, instead of our regular Wednesday, it's going to be a Thursday because of the special RTX 3070 launch, of course. So really something to look forward to because I think everybody is really wondering about the performance of the 3070, which is already really hyped up since we already got a sneak peek of what it can do. So really make sure to tune in on that one too. And the week after that, back on our regular schedule on the Wednesday, which is uh, I'm going to be showing you more about the RTX 30 series uh, already like pre-configured gaming desktops. So for the next three weeks, it's going to be a busy and packed schedule. And uh, of course, something to look forward to if you really want to get into MSI Insider, which you should. All right, now I'm going to get back I, I, I to- I switched uh, off the echo, uh, Ja. Uh, okay, so that's why you disappear for a moment. One second. <laughs> All right. Um, so before we really get into the whole, uh, you know, the, the, the technical aspect, the benchmarks, the performance, all the good stuff, uh, we want to talk about something, you know, also kind of behind the screens regarding, you know, hey, uh, the designer of this uh, is just TI5. So what is his story? You know, how did he come to design this thing? And so we want to talk about the progress. Did you already like mention that. the giveaway? Yeah, well, I mean, the giveaway is right here, right? But yeah, yes, sure, I should mention that too. Of course, like every live stream, we have the giveaway, which is right here. So if you go to uh, msite.com slash two slash insider and perform as many actions as you can, as you want, you will, uh, well, the more you do, the more chance you have of winning one of the codes today. So the yes, $20 and on both, codes. on both YouTube and Twitch, uh, there is a bot running. Uh, it will each five minutes uh, show you the link you can use. Uh, and if you're not on YouTube or Twitch, please go there to find the link. Yeah, also, you know, for the best experience with the chat, because we're also keeping track of the chat and it's Well, the we best. also see Facebook here, we see uh, Twitter here. You do? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then keep a good eye on that. <laughs> All right, them. so then, uh, well, I guess without further ado, I'm going to introduce uh, our designer, so Nick Chen from our headquarters, who is responsible for designing the HST i5, and we would like to have a talk with him, so you guys can also uh, see, you know, what goes behind the screens regarding, you know, pr designing a whole new product, so, such as this one, which is Hi, actually Nick. quite new, so, hello, Nick. Hi. <laughs> hello. Let me hello, just uh, put on my headphones, which is going to help me uh, hear Nick. Uh, so Nick is uh, based in Taiwan, uh, he's working in our headquarters, and uh, it's like 10 o'clock, right? Yeah, it's, ten, it's 6 past 10. Yeah, it's already yeah. past 10, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so still working very late. That's 
It's okay. Yeah. So excited to join this live stream. Yeah, yeah, we were really excited to have you here because, uh, well, of course, uh, you know, compared to our regular desktop, this wasn't really, uh, you know, our usual design. So yeah, we were really looking forward to you know your story and your work behind this, and also try to show our audience you know uh, you know what kind of work goes behind the screens uh, you know for something like this. So yeah, we're really excited to talk to you about this whole uh, designing progress, uh, you know what kind of concepts were there and stuff like that. And yeah, you know for that, uh, yeah, we do have some uh, some visuals for you guys to uh, also take a look at, so we can go through you know Nick's story, his journey, but uh, you know behind you know designing the Asus Ti5. So um, yeah, Nick. Uh, if uh, yeah, Eric can switch, then it'll be really nice. Cool. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. So. So actually, yeah. So actually, I really enjoy the whole process of designing this, the new, the latest generation of our Hero products. Mm -hmm. Yes. So how does this yeah, like okay. start, like from like scratch? Where where, where does it start? Well, when I get this project to design uh, the, our Type 5 and look it into the whole gaming market and see that something that so boxy, so boring and uh, you, you don't want to wanna put on a desk and want to hide it away or throw into the corner, just want to create something that really wows everybody, yes. Oh, well, guess definitely uh, a very clear message. You just want to tr create something uh, that's really, uh, you know, right here. Like, look well, at me. Well, <laughs> it's uh, for sure special. <laughs> yeah. So that's of course like then your first idea of creation, just to you know set the uh, the right mindset of what you want to achieve. So then, uh, what well, follows then, like, because a uh, bunch of keywords that you have prepared. Yeah, it's about the keywords. As you can see, that I said. To, to form follows for imagination. We have to, we have to imagine, imagine something that really behind. The <laughs> I see. Yeah, so this is special. this is like a uh, yeah. a brainstorm for you know the characteristics of what it should have and stuff like that. Yes, of course. So we start with some keywords. We're collecting the keywords to if you can slide get, get through this slide too. A second slide. You can see lots of keywords that we collected from from the yes. We we, we, we got after some uh, lots of meetings and discussions. We create. We found those keywords. So yeah. Right. So, so um, sorry. The, the the bigger they are, the more meaningful, the more important the keywords are, right? Or is that now? Yes. How feel it? Then I'm very yes, curious right. what the big Chinese in blue means. I know what it means, Eric. Oh, the blue one. <laughs> Fast. <laughs> speed. Yeah. No. Yeah. It's not speed. You have to think about. Yeah. It's and it was something that it's really, really uh, out of these, uh, out of it, imaginations. Okay. And be very futuristic, and you also have to be unique. Yes. Oh, it's, uh, I must say it is definitely unique. <laughs> very. Uh, yeah, yeah. I, I can see I can see where this uh, how this all these con these kind of concepts are kind of like coming back into the, the desktop. So so what's next? So when you you can see that that uh, keyword clouds, we got some fluid, I, I want to create something that really dynamic and really futuristic, then you 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 something that just flashed into my mind and there is one thing that, yes. Ah, uh, I see. I remember this. Yes. I think so I know where this is from. The first light. You can see that. Yes. Why? It, it's wrong. It's wrong. Yeah. It's just wrong. <laughs> it was yeah. a very innovative and, uh, yeah, a yeah. big block, uh, blockbuster. Yeah. First, the trial, you can see what's coming to your mind. Motor rays, light blaze, and and all the, all, all the uh, vehicles go oh, shoo, 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 shoo. <laughs> So you're that, a big that, movie fan. That is fan. pretty accurate. <clears throat> so this was like the, the, the big inspiration behind... Uh, actually, I do see the similarities now. <laughs> yeah. Yes, yes, definitely. If you, see, if you just mention 
And that reminds me the uh, video clip video clip that we released a couple of days ago, the past to the future. Yes. Oh yeah, that was actually uh, yeah. We were actually read people uh, saying in the comments as a joke, you know, like, hey, I don't care how fast the CPU is, you know, I want to know how fast this this uh, <laughs> this ASUS Vi5 can run, you know, how, how much uh, miles per hour. Um, yes, yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Yeah, to bring those images to our experience. <laughs> okay, Once cool. you look at it, you see those very fluent, very very full of speed and dynamic. Okay. Yes. So then we have something that looks very futuristic. This is the image board. Yeah, I've got the image board. Of course, I have to Google with those pics that we that I, I need from the Googles, and I add some keywords like a uh, futuristic uh, outer outer space or some uh, uh, what's it called. Uh, creatures, so you can see that there are some uh, battleships and motors, and also like uh, yes, yes, also collected it all together and to categorize and and just I need to to, uh, to drop it into two two like a, two axes. Yeah, to hashes. The horizontal means from the right right hand, you'll see it's more like more speed. Right. So, like during this process, like are, are there like a, a, a lot of people involved, or is it just like one person, like just you, like calling the shots? Like, you no, know, I want it to be there, or is it like going to be like, no, I have a phone, you know, and then someone else phones, and then you have like a big mess so for everybody wants something different. Yeah, from the very first phase that. Uh, we do discuss in, 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 it with the internals. Yeah, we got some discuss with my colleagues. I want the, the more ideas and more uh, thinking inside. Oh, that sounds like a little bit of a painful process. <laughs> yes. <laughs> so, and, but, but I still have the, the rights to to do the final decision. So, so to the next. The, the next slide also shows that I contrast all the elements and and this and then get them into three principles. The first one is I want this form to be very dynamic. Mm, right, dynamic. And well, dynamic. The second one, I want it to look really uh, futuristic, which can see those glows black, mm -hmm. like like a roof. Yeah, exactly. On top of okay. this, and yes, uh, I'll show yes, you guys later what I mean. Yes. But then you of... also need to make it into a real product. So what is the next step? How do you come to a, like a mock-up or like a sample? Um. Mm -hmm. So after this, like uh, you came to like the first concept, right? So like right now we're on the slide, we see like the first concept, which is like actually a little bit different than what we're seeing here. It's uh, yes, it's a very initial concept that we used it as a base to explore the concepts. Then I'll do lots of explanations and lots of to search those possibilities for the exteriors. And do you, at this moment, when you have the first concept, concept design, do you already know, I want to place the PSU, so the power supply here, I want to put the main board here, I need to have enough room for the VJ, or you only care yes. about the design? Yes. All the inside placement with us, to know the, the basic volumes and what's inside, I, I, need, I need the um, where the air flows goes from. And they where's the power supplies of a place it at. Yeah. And at this moment everything is just hand drawn. So no no computer models, three D models, everything let's say pen and paper. Yeah, it's just next to this level. Yeah, so yeah. your next to this your concept exploration. Yeah, 
Yeah, yes, going forward to the uh, 3D modeling. So before that, I, I got lots of feature to de define and those detail things to the slide nine. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so then you go into the more, uh, the more, yeah, the, the actions, the details, uh, and this already looks like it's a 3D model. Is that correct, or is this still uh, drawn by hand? Oh, it's a 3D model, but I drew it into hand. Oh, yes. really? Okay. How long did it take yes. for you to uh, like uh, do this whole concept, like drawing all these it's details? It's around three to four weeks. Three to four least. weeks at least. Wow. But this was already done, I think, uh, one and a half year Only. ago? Modeling uh, process, yes. Oh, that's, uh, that's uh, <laughs> quite some process. It needs a lot of patience. Yes, I need patience. But Nick, this, this one was done in 2019, right? Already some time ago. Yes, it's almost, almost a year ago. Yeah, yeah. because uh, when we create, or when you come up with a concept like this, and, and it, uh, you know, we, we built a motherboard, uh, we built a complete uh, PC, and it goes onto the market, that takes a long time. Yes. So you should be very exciting now that really finally you can buy it on the shelf. <laughs> yes, yes. I can see my babies on your ah, okay. <laughs> Your baby finally came to the world. I see a lot of uh, di different comments about this. Some people, you know, they, they love it and some people hate it. Is that uh, doing something personally with you? If people say, ah, this design is ugly. Uh, you know, designers... Uh, it's fine for us to take all the comments and all. It, it's also good feedback if they oh yeah yeah that's true say, oh, yeah, yeah, that's true yeah if, if they don't satisfy with the form form design then I, I'll, I'll try my best next time okay and yeah. sometimes yeah yeah and sometimes some you something that really unique maybe they they cannot accept in this time maybe a couple of days or a couple of weeks. <laughs> <laughs> It, it's really, you know. Yeah, guys. So uh, don't yeah. hold back if you have. Uh, yeah, some we would like to Nick know. Or for us, you know, just you know his uh, concept process and you know, how he uh, spent so much time on all the concepts. And what do you guys think? You know, just let us know in the comments. Of course, we'll keep track. And then, uh, so I guess. Uh, right now I'm seeing like the very first like fully 3D um, filled out first gen design which looks quite different than what we're seeing right now actually this was is that a date below it uh, yeah so this was in july s s july july 2019 concept. yes yes the first generation comes get, get i gave it born to the first generation around the last july and and is it yeah. no go Sorry. ahead i go ahead I see that the, the exterior is quite like, uh, I said, it's not like a uh, vehicle at all, but uh, something like a, a big buns, cars, and uh, like a vehicle vans. Always. But I, I still insist that some men and the key features have to, uh, have to be hold it in this stage. They came in up and his forehead uh. and the wings, <laughs> yeah, on the bottom, yes. It's like the eye. Yeah, it's like the eye, yeah, it's interesting, yeah. It's, when, we, when we communicate inside, the gaming knob, we nickname it as a, an eye of the dragon. <laughs> so this is like the dragon, this is, this is like the eye. Yes, it's like, a, like an alien head, you know. <laughs> I, 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 Read, read some comments says it's like an editing hand, so why not? Yes, yeah. if you think it, also it kind of uh, reminds me of you know, if a Lord of the Rings fan, the uh, Eye of Sauron. Ah, <laughs> yes, so yes. and then based on this, this feedback for the first gen, internally we make a new model, right? Yes, so then so came the second model, which got a little bigger, yeah, it's got a little bigger. And I just lifted the whole the the main body a little bit to to get the to get more dynamic look, and you can see from uh, from the side 
the wings, I said, we, we call it the wings. The wings is getting longer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, yeah, you can see more dynamic elements were added from. Yeah, it seems like this. it's getting faster too. Yeah, it's getting faster and more slimmer. Yeah. Okay. And actually, we have quite some uh, nice people commenting in the chat saying they really love the design, and also somebody saying, as a graphics designer, he really appreciates what you did here. So, uh, kudos to you. <laughs> All right, so then after the second one, which li it's like one month later, so of course you guys were still not satisfied, so you know you had to make more models, yes. and then came yeah, the next one, generation. which got and even bigger. But it's actually it's starting to look more. Yeah, the main model is still maintain the, the, the original size, but the exterior, like those wings. Mm -hmm. yeah, and yeah. Those, yeah, yeah, yeah. And make it more obvious and more, you know, yeah, actually, yeah, I do like the where it's going because like the first two ones, they were like still a little bit boxy on the front. It's like yeah. flat, but now it's more getting a little bit, bit rounder on the front. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, I, I could have saw, I could have seen this as like the final, the final concept, but it still isn't the final one, right? <laughs> Because there's still some differences. So there was like the fourth one, which was like in December. Yes. And this. And after four months, yes, everything get get more clear, and we made one mockup, a physical mockup. Uh -huh. so, so you you mean a mockup which people can physical mockup which people yes. can touch and feel. Of course, the proportion means everything. And guess what? So I guess I was in Taiwan in December, and I already saw it then, and I played with it. Uh, yeah, is, is, is that shocked how shocked to you? Yeah, well, I gave some feedback to improve uh, some small things. But you guys didn't meet. Sorry? You two didn't meet. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> I no, I had a meeting with all the, the PMs, you know, it was more from technical side and... Uh. and uh, of course, the design and the concept, but also the platform. Uh, at that moment, we didn't know when this model was going to launch because uh, Arctic Sturdy wasn't announced. We knew at one moment NVIDIA would come with a smaller uh, production process GPU. Uh, so we would align it with this, uh, with this launch. Uh, we knew already the, the platform, the, the, the CPU that we were going to base it on. So yeah, a lot of small details. So I was more focused at internals. Uh, but yeah, for me, it was also like, Whoa, <laughs> interesting design. <laughs> All right. And then we, I guess we finally came to the final, final design, which actually looks yeah. exactly like the one that I have right next to me. Yes, yeah, you can see that this, this, the, whole, um, the whole exterior design goes more uh, slim. Yep, it's got slimmer. And more compact. Yeah, it's got slimmer and compact. I just, push the front basil a little bit, let the black side a little bit forward. So make the whole uh, image become very really slimmer. Um, Nick, if you now look back and, and you see your first concept from like uh, July 2019, and you see the final design, uh, you personally, which one do you yeah, love more? <laughs> of course the ladies one. The, the final? Yeah, what do you guys think? Which one did you like more? Which one? Yeah. Oh, the middle one. Third one? Yeah, yeah mm -hmm. I can imagine. I mean, the first one is your baby. You know, you designed this, and then a lot of people coming to give input, and, and some things are for technical, like, oh, we cannot fit a power supply in, or we need more airflow. And then you need to adjust your baby based on the feedback from people who don't know design. Yeah. Time by time, yeah. Cause so, uh, yeah, because I can it, imagine, you know, yeah, <laughs> very difficult process because there are so many people involved, right? Because it's very technical. So you're not just like designing an empty PC case where, you know, <laughs> ah, nothing is going to go in. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, so how long did like the, this entire project like take you from, you know, having this idea to really designing and working out like the final model? Like how long was that journey for you? takes more than eight months totally yeah 
eight months and this was like your main project or did you also have to work on other projects in that time? Sure, sure, yeah, of course. Uh, people are already but saying I, this looks like something about uh, of Cyberpunk uh, 2077. Yeah, maybe, Eric uh, is saying that, not me. Mm, that's uh, you, you guys are bringing us to new ideas. Maybe we'll uh, try to get this inside a game, you know, as some Easter eggs, because it fits the theme, right? <laughs> um, mm. Yeah. All right, man, and Nick. So. Um, <clears throat> I guess, you know, uh, we've got quite some comments in the chat still saying, you know, uh, yeah, the people are really positive about it, so uh, that's really good to hear, guys. But, of course, don't be afraid if you have some other stars, always le let us know, too. And, um, yeah, I mean, for me, it's, uh, it's quite the eye-opener because I never, you know, had this kind of experience or knew how, you know, what was going behind the screens, you know, how a designer really designs a product that, people you know just buy in the in the shops and know how much of work is behind it and you know how many people were involved so yeah really uh, appreciate this uh, eye-opener Nick because yeah to you guys too uh, I also did know this so be man, prior to this call I had no idea so that's why I was also really quite excited to talk to Nick to see you know what was his journey and yeah do you maybe so I have something else to add to this yes so all good. I see. All good. I, I see an interesting question in the chat. How did the designer adapt the design uh, for optimal airflow? So, how did you improve the design based for the optimal airflow? So, uh, is this also your job, or is this part of the uh, engineering team? I, will, I have to co op in design. In design team, we have to co op with the thermal team. Yes. Yeah. We do a lot, did a lot of uh, uh, several times of adjustment to make the whole uh, airflow go smoother from the from the uh, from basal direct through to the tail. Yes. So yeah. Now we know we got a uh, cyber uh, a cool cool cyber silent. Yeah, it's a silent silent storm in three right or four. So to make sure that. All the exterior design will, will just disturb those airflows. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, cool. And uh, later I'll show you guys what he means because there's actually something new that we implemented for our uh, cooling. Also. Um, yeah, but uh, I guess then, uh, Nick, uh, if there's still something you want to add uh, or you want to talk to us uh, or tell us or tell to the audience, you can still do. And otherwise, I think we're going to thank you for your time. Thank you. It's my pleasure to join us. <laughs> Thanks, right, Nick. Man. Hopefully, maybe see Take you next care. time. And uh, good night. Have a good night and sleep tight. Okay. Thank you. Cheers. Bye bye. Have a, have a nice day. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, Ja. Um, I'm going to hang up, Nick. Okay. So uh, I need to check the if the chat somebody in um, Matthew on uh, Periscope Twitter is. Uh, saying the link doesn't work so i need to check that I but see. You, you can continue all right so we're just going to uh, do some uh, troubleshooting i mean uh <laughs> troubleshooting major. that means i first have to take it apart <laughs> <laughs> no 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 you're doing the back the back screen uh behind the stage okay troubleshooting for the link but i'm just going to continue but uh, before i continue i do need your help eric because uh before i you know show you guys you know the ins and outs and uh, every aspect i want to tell you guys you know of course everybody's wondering you know, what kind of specification are we talking about here you know the configuration sure. on screen and um yeah, actually i think this one is just a little bit lagging because on my screen i actually already have like the next one but ah. it doesn't change yeah. so i have to redo it somehow but uh here it is <clears throat> so to answer all of you guys' questions, uh, you know, for some of you who've paid attention, uh, you should already have known what CPU goes in here and what uh, GPU goes in there. But let's just start from the top. So for the CPU, you know, we have different configurations. You can either have like the 10 uh, 700K version or the 10 900K version. So, uh, and this one right here is the 10 900K version. And, you know, it's being cooled by a tw uh, 240 millimeter uh, radiator. Uh, so our uh, MSI all in one water cooling. And then it goes all the way up to RTX uh, 3080. 
And uh, you know, as for the RAM, um, it starts with uh, 64 gigabytes, so uh, that's like the lowest configuration, and then uh, the highest one is uh, 128 gigabytes of RAM. So uh, you will never be lagging RAM in this case. Uh, storage. As you can see, there are already uh, three times uh, M.2, uh, so um, you have the room for uh, three, and one times PCIe, and uh, you have two more uh, 2.5 inches uh, drive base on one uh, 3.5 inch tray drive bay. So that's for storage and PSU. Um, well, the power supply. So in here is the 705 watt uh, 80 gold standard uh, SFX. So it's not a regular sized one, it's a uh, S uh, SFX uh, sized one, so it's smaller. And um, well, for LAN, we actually have a dual LAN setup right here. Uh, one is a 2.5 gigabyte LAN, <laughs> and uh, later we'll also have someone from Intel joining us, and we'll talk more about this with him too. Uh, so we have the 2.5 gig LAN, and also a 1 gig LAN besides that. And of course, another, uh, also having Wi-Fi 6 because this really is like, yeah, well, the highest tier possible in the gaming desktops uh, lineup. So you can expect, you know, really having all these kind of uh, specifications too. And as for price, uh, it start with uh, 3,500 US dollars. Uh, so it, it can differ, you know, depending on which configuration you get and also what kind of region you're sitting in. Uh, we can never say for sure uh, because every time. It is just different in different kind of regions, so that really depends. Yeah, so each, uh, yeah, e each region basically chooses its own specification. So you can probably find it with a, a Core i5, uh, of oh, sorry, a Core i7, maybe also Core i5. I don't know, uh, Core i9, uh, and yeah, uh, in Europe they have the VAT. In USA, it's without VAT. So always very difficult to answer these kind of questions. <coughs> All right, so um, if you guys have any questions, uh, just drop them in the chat. I'll try to keep an eye on it, and Eric will keep an eye on it, and uh, I'll just continue. Uh, sorry, ja, no. uh, Fabian uh, asking, 750 watt is enough for the setup? Yeah, it's, oh, it's, yes, more, than it's more than enough. Uh, later, I'll also do some lights benchmarking when this whole system being pushed to the max. I'll also show you live uh, with hardware info, uh, you know, how much power is being drawn right now. So you will see that there's plenty of room left, uh, headroom for you to yeah. even, you know, draw more power from it. Worst case so. scenario, if you add up all the components which draw power, that's a worst case scenario. But basically, if you're playing a game, CPU load is not never 100% or the VGA load, the, the graphics uh, card load is not 100%. So you, yeah, even peak power, it's enough. Yeah, no worries. With overclocking, no problem. Um, okay, then uh, we're done with all the slides for now. Uh, so I can also finally try to show you guys uh, in depth and in detail. Uh, yeah, you saw all the concepts, you saw, uh, you saw the, uh, yeah, well, the earlier models and stuff like that. But now I can show you. I hope it's not too reflective with the green screen. Yeah, we did our best to uh, set up this uh, <laughs> this guy right here to not reflect too much on the. Ah, we didn't do our best. We did yeah. something. You did. You did pretty well. Yeah, I but mean, it was a, did, we limited the, quite the a few scan. stuff. Uh, yeah. So this is the front side, and of course, right off the bat, you notice, hey, there is a. Uh, you guys should recognize this, right? What's like being displayed right here? This is our little chubby lucky. That's how chubby I chubby lucky. <laughs> how I like to call it. <laughs> Um, so of course this is our gaming knob, or you can uh, you know uh, try to understand this as like the gaming dial. So of course you can turn it, you can click it, and this will in turn do a lot of the uh, shortcuts that you can pre-configure in Dragon Center. I'll, I'll get into details about all of this, but you already uh, at least now know what it can do. But I'm just going to show you like the outside right now. So as you can see, it's uh, about to drive away because it really <laughs> kind of simulates a, uh, a motorcycle, it's like in Tron. Um, so this is the sideways, as you can see, here's a cutout for, uh, the, this is actually the uh, site for the radiator, 240 millimeter radiator. So this is the uh, air outtake. And as you can see here we have, well, it's not as bright, actually this one, as the other one. So here we also have the RGB strip, everything in sync, but I'll also tell you how to do this and change this later if you're interested, of course. So on the front side, you can see it's very glossy. And then here we have sort of like a gunmetal matte finish. 
uh, on the other side, turn it around, it's the same style. So as you can see here too, we have uh, well kind of yeah it is the exact same as the other side, and on the back side. We can take a look at with a different angle to see what's all here. <clears throat> so here we have the GPU slots. And then we have another air outtake. And of course the IO so panel here. That's not a PSU. No, this is not a PSU because I'm getting there. I'm going okay, to okay, get there. Okay, okay, sorry. <laughs> Working my way down there. So, and then if well, well, uh, if you're wondering, you know, here we have the usual uh, the the audio jacks, uh, 2.5 G right here. Uh, we have the 1.0 G here, 1 G, and then we have you know the three uh, Type Cs, the USB 3.2 uh, Gen 2s, uh, Thunderbolts, you know, the usual yada yada. But and then we get to the power supply. Let me uh, maybe just turn this down. Yeah, I can which also is, take the, the, the other... Uh... Which is hiding underneath here. So you can see here, this is the power ah, cable. Let me see. Yeah. So now you can see. So, so this in is the wheel, actually, the power supply yeah. is located. SFX, small one. Right. And then on the sides, I'll tell you what the sides are meant for. But yeah, I saw a question. Um, Let me see. Yeah, wait. Huh. I, I think like 10, 12, 15. You don't know? Wait, wait, wait. What do you mean? What did I miss? The weight. The weight. Let Actually, I have to look that up. I don't uh, um, know the weight by heart yet, but uh, we can look it up I'm for you easily. Actually, yeah, let me 15 just feel. to 17 kilograms. So the, the net weight is 15 kilograms. Yeah, actually we have quite some uh, metal work into this, so you know, quality-wise it's uh, like here, it's like metal, we have the handle, what I'm using right now. It's so this you can also take metal. it to lamp parties? Yeah, very easily to uh, carry it around, so you don't have to use both arms to carry it, so you can use the other arm for something else, you can just yeah. rest it. Your food? Yeah, definitely, I always have food with me, because <laughs> I need like 3000 calories a day. <laughs> All right, so what I was saying was this right here, we can also take a look at uh, in the detailed one because uh, there are quite a few holes. Uh, it's kind of mashy. So here, uh, it, this entire area, also underneath here, is where the PSU has the room to breathe. So, you know, it's not just here for show. Everything kind of also has its own functionality being subtly like implemented into the design. And then, before I continue with the upper part, which is like, a, really reminds me of uh, actually your car, Eric, your Tesla car with a mm. panoramic uh, <laughs> ceiling. Oof. But before I show you guys that one, uh, I think maybe it's time that we reward the first winner of today. Yes. So guys, um, if you haven't, or if you just joined and you haven't, um, well, joined the giveaway, you still can, because right now we're going to draw our first winner of today. Yeah, so I just uh, checked our uh, bot in uh, YouTube and in uh, Twitch, it's working. Yeah, you can also go to that URL. Yeah, so you can go to this one or you can wait for the chat. To, yeah, uh, and sorry, because uh, somebody was asking on, on Twitter uh, for the URL, we our bot cannot post it on Twitter anymore because we, we got banned on Twitter. Oh yeah, right. <laughs> and it took us a lot of time to unban it. Um, so, yeah, sorry for that. Um, but yeah, uh, go to amazon.com slash 2 slash insider. Uh, winning. Yeah, and if you have already participated, don't worry, you don't have to do it again if you didn't win because you're still in the drawing pool. Yes. So, until the end of the live stream, you can keep trying your chances and you don't have to reapply every time we do a winner. Yeah. So, uh, you have the first winner, uh, let's see, so the first winner is uh, well, quite a few names, but... Um, Cecilia, Cecilia Carrion. Carrion, 
Carrion. Cecilia, let's just call it Cecilia. So congratulations, Cecilia, with uh, the $20 Steam wallet code. Uh, do something great with it in Steam. Make, uh, make Aben happen. Happy. So uh, to the rest of you guys, good luck because there's more coming. If you didn't win, don't worry. You still have more chances coming up in the live stream. All right, so now we're going to get back to the panoramic roof on this futuristic <coughs> Tron motorbike. I'm not sure if this camera is picking up this well, but you can already see the GPU through this nah, if you really this take a look. All right, this works mm. a bit better. Let me... A bit lower? Yeah, push it back a little. You guys can already spot the GPU, right? So, do you, can you guess which one this is? So this is the upper part, so the whole... 40, 70? 40, 80? <laughs> oh, this is still uh, current gen. No, this is the 30 series, but which one? I know. So a panoramic roof. 3080, yes. Good job. And Eric, if you turn it back again, uh, I can show something else. So here, this is not just for the show. So this is all for airflow. As you can see, you can see right inside through this. On the other side is the exact same. Going yeah, I, I told you if you break the, the webcam, <laughs> we, uh, we cannot get it working during the live stream, right? Well, I like to live on the edge. Yeah, I saw that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, that's the upper part. And uh, as for the I.O., we have uh, two uh, USB 3.2 Gen 2s and a, a Type-C, of course, and also your audio and your microphone jack. And everybody knows what this one does. So let me put it back. All right, so if we change back to the other view, I can show you guys something else because this are more as well I, I always view them as like the Aegis ears or you know this this the thing the dragons have like here right now I don't know what's called in English like like the devil yeah I don't know yeah, how it's Wands. called but here can you guys guess what this two little things are for uh, you can hang your coats there, I, I guess. Sure, you can, but uh, they are meant for... For flying! <laughs> yeah. I, did, I haven't thought about that one yet. For flying, that's actually quite a good one. Headset hang. Oh, yeah. headset I'm going to tell this uh, to our designer to... Uh, yeah. <laughs> Some wings. <laughs> so somebody thought this was for flying. It was actually quite a good one. But yeah, you can already see where I'm going with this, right? So, yeah. You don't have to have a, uh, a uh, dedicated uh, headphone stand. Well, of course, you can still do it, but right now you can already uh, just use, I guess I'm going to call it uh, the easiest of wings, since uh, they can, you can use it to fly, to hang up your headphone. So it doesn't matter what side of you're using this, of course. And uh, well, it's just here, just for the convenience. So you don't have to, if you still try to put up your headphone on your monitor, you know, you get this greasy mark on your monitor, which is, I personally don't really like. But uh, yeah, sometimes you try to keep your desk neat and you try to hang it up, but then it leaves all the greasy stains. Right now, well, this way you don't have to worry about that anymore because you can just put it on his wings, right? So that's for the, uh, the, the externals and um, yeah, I think I pretty much showed you everything already from uh, bottom to top, front, up. And if you guys haven't seen or you missed something, uh, let me know. I can show you in details what you, uh, my, what you missed or what you really want to see again or something else that I maybe didn't show you that you want to see. Let us know in the chat and um, I can get back to it. No problems. And all right. So then I'm going to go back to the gaming knob. Or a the question uh, from uh, Fabian. Yeah. Uh, uh, how does airflow, how is it cleaned? Are there any air filters? Uh, yeah, actually in, in between this, the air is already being uh, sort of like, so all the dust is already main, uh, mainly being filtered throughout the, like, the meshes mm -hmm. on the sides. And the other places where the air is being taken out, of course there are no filters there, that's not needed, yeah. but where the air is being taken in, this being like filters through the meshes. Are you also going to open it up? Yeah, I'm going to open it up right after I show you guys 
of course, what everybody is wondering where our lucky is being displayed. Can what you that yeah. is going to do and a bit more to the right? Yeah. Or, or you can turn maybe the, the webcam. Yeah, like this. <coughs> maybe so a bit higher the webcam, John? Excellent. Well, not excellent, but a green screen. Yeah, yeah. If you yeah. sit close, yeah, perfect. Okay, that works. So here we have our gaming knob, which is like the first of its kind, uh, human machine learning of uh, int, uh, interface. This one you can, uh, well, with this you can interact with your gaming desktop. So you can actually now do a lot of the stuff without even having to touch your keyboard or mouse. So. Um, even so, even when you're actually like in game, you can still do a lot of the adaptations, uh, change your system, you know, monitoring and stuff like that. So tons of stuff to do. But first, let me show you um, how you can set this up. Because you can actually um, tune this and set this up to your own liking, so you can uh, display or put on the shortcuts however or no, whatever you want to have it on uh, and let me show you how to do this so this is our dragon center the most recent version and if was that if that was too fast for you uh, you, you just have to uh, you know stay on home and then right here it says gaming gear and then we have the gaming knob and then it opens a window so here you can choose whatever it is that you want to have uh, well on the gaming knob as a function so i guess here now you can see everything yeah, yeah, yeah. okay <clears throat> so here this two uh, columns are meant for mystic light as you can see you know this uh, they just simply describe the effect default steady breathing flashing uh, meteor lighting rainbow so uh whatever maybe you know you can just check whatever it is that you like the best you don't have to check everything but I you know for demonstration purposes I checked everything uh, you can also uncheck it if you don't want to have it but right now this will all reoccur on the gaming knob when you use it physically and here you can justify or adjust uh, whatever shortcuts uh, it is that you want to uh, have on the gaming knob for it to activate it can be a game it can be a launcher it can be any apps so all you have to do is click on this little three dots and it will open a window. You look up whatever program it is that you want, you click it, you open it, and that's it. And voila, and you have five top choices to choose from. So right now, for example, I just uh, I put on some random stuff besides the games, uh, MSI Afterburner, uh, Metro Exodus, uh, Horizon, uh, Shadow of the Thumb Raider, and Valorant. And then uh, after this, I'm going to show you how this works. And then for the monitor part, you can also justify uh, whatever it is that this thing will display. So CPU frequency, temperature, memory, you know, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. You don't have to check everything once again. You can choose whatever it, uh, it is that's important to you. So it can be only one thing. It doesn't really matter. Uh, after you have done all the settings, uh, just click on apply and voila and uh, well if you have something against our chubby little lucky as a default animation you can also change this one because right now you see lucky is cheering you on with can whatever you put it my is picture on it what do you say Eric? my photo or should i first dance <laughs> <laughs> i think the dance is better <laughs> uh yeah, if I uh, had a uh, dancing Eric right here as like a GIF or JPEG or animation, <laughs> I wouldn't have used it. But uh, yeah, uh, you can simply upload your own animation. You can also design something really Eric. nice. And then you can have something really customized uh, from yourself right here or whatever it is that you can find that you think is really cool and want to use. You can do it here. And then it will be displayed as the default animation whenever this one is being idle and it doing so you, you could put your name on functions. it and anything in animated gif will animate <coughs> over here as well yeah and then after you have done everything you have set up everything to your liking and then all there is left to do is uh okay so okay maybe eric you can stay uh, in your previous window 
Uh, the capture? Yeah, yeah, you can stay in capture so I can show you guys uh, what happens like when I press a button because you guys can still see. Yes. I'll show you what happens first and then I'll show you what you can see here in detail. So right now I'm just going to choose, for example, a shortcut and then I'm going to start a application. Uh, so I just clicked on uh, Afterburner. As you can see, Afterburner just popped up here. Maybe if you close it here and do it, open it again. Yeah, so let me close. Uh, as you can see, it reacts right away. So shortcut, I'm going to choose like, clicked on it. Oh, actually it's already open because I minimized it. So it's here now. But if I close it, now it's gone. Oh, let um, me so where did it go? There it yeah. is, and then if I go to, okay, if you now change the view, I can show you guys what I see when I use this uh, little thing right here. So let me go back to default. Maybe you can uh, not put your hand in front of it. Yeah, I'm setting this up first, and then I'm oh, going to okay, show okay. you guys uh, what I see from the start. Magic show later. Yeah. So I'm just waiting for it to go back to uh, the default lucky dance, and then I will show you what happens from there on. Yeah, so now it's like at default, so. Yeah, guys, we're still going to open it up. We're going to do benchmarks, don't worry. And if I just click it, it doesn't matter where I click it, uh, you know, because this entire wheel is clickable. I can still click it like this or push it. So right now, uh, let's see how close I can get to this but it's not really focusing right now, so it's a little problematic. But uh, I'll just put it here. It's, and it should be auto-focused, but indeed. Yeah, but sometimes when you get too I close, know, it know. won't focus anymore. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I guess this is still pretty readable for you guys. So press, you see right now it says gaming mode. If I click on gaming mode, you can click on on or off, this will later affect your uh, gaming performance. That's, we, we want to keep this on, right? Yeah, so leave it on. Why do I want to keep <laughs> turn gaming mode off? Well, sometimes you want to save some power, right? You don't need oh, maximum okay. performance. Just so like you turn it off. when you watch a movie. Yeah, and for example, uh, you guys might have noticed Mystic Light is gone because I just turned it off. So now I can show you if I, you see, if you turn, these are all the modes that you guys uh, selected beforehand, the five modes. So Mystic Light, I chose, I chose Shortcuts, I chose Monitor, Gaming Mode, and User Scenario. Question from Edwin. Um, I lost it. It says Rainbow right now. Uh, can Mystic you make Light. your own profiles? Or, and how many profiles can you make? Voila. Uh, well, which profile do you mean? Uh, like uh, RGB profiles? Uh, yeah. I can show you uh, when I open Dragon Center again how you can do this. So here, here let me close after burner. Open Dragon Center. So here we have Mystic Light. Uh, in Mystic Light, as you can see here, there's like profile one, profile two, profile three. So here you have uh, the ability to adjust. Uh, a specific style so you choose something you can choose you know what kind of speed you want the brightness uh, as this is rainbow you'll give you all the colors but something else for example uh, let me see maybe we show the, Steady, the RGB breathing. colors you can also customize your own color sorry what you say Eric maybe we show how the RGB works can you change maybe let me check main then we can see the colors. Can you change the colors from the knob? Yeah. Well, actually, I just uh, did that in close-up too. So right now it's doing a so rainbow. So now it's uh, now it's rainbow. Yeah. Like all colors of Let the rainbow. Let me do something that's completely different. Black, white? No, I just uh, chose flashing. Okay. But flashing is only one color. So if you want to adapt this style, if you really like this style, you can go to uh, Dragon Center, and then you can go to flashing. For example, oh, one moment, one moment, yeah. Yeah, so you can go to flashing here, choose the style, and here you can see uh, you can indicate which part 
can flash what color. So right now everything is set to red. But you can choose, you know, for area two to uh, make it purple. Purple or whatever color it is that you fancy, you know, whatever floats your boat, it doesn't matter. You can make a whole uh, customized rainbow if you like. Uh, well, we don't do green because it's green screen. We don't like green. No, nope, we don't like green. Uh, yellow, maybe. Confirmed. We can do yellow is a bit green orange or something. And then light speed, I guess, uh, something. Oh, not too fast. I don't want to give you guys a. Uh, <laughs> a uh, what do you call it again? Um, the strobing effect when you have like an at attack. Jeez. <clears throat> so, right now you can see I just applied this and you can save this in your uh, profile one. So, right now you can see it's flashing blue here, it's flashing. Um, uh, turn to the I will side. put it in the main. Okay. Yeah. So, the wheel you see, this is like uh, yellowish. Uh, then here, it's orange. Yeah, we, that's very difficult to see. Yeah, this one is a bit dark for the camera. Actually, it all doesn't matter, they want purple. Yeah, you guys all want purple, why purple? <laughs> yeah, I see purple. Purple's I don't my like favorite purple. color. I really don't Make like it purple. purple, Matthew. <laughs> I really don't like purple, but sure. <laughs> you want to see purple, you get purple. Any purple rain fans out here? No? All right, so now it's purple. Happy? It's yeah, purple. they're happy. Okay, so if you want this purple effect to last, then you don't have to, uh, you know, change or ch But you yeah, know, you, you can you choose from uh, millions of colors, right? Yeah. So let me go back to the wheel again then, because now I showed you like uh, how you can do uh, change the flashing lights, uh, so the entire Mystic Light setup. Nope. So should, should we get a bigger desk? Uh, I mean, I, I, I won't say no to that, so sure. Okay, I'm just trying no. to make the camera focus. <laughs> Daniel wants green. No green. Well, if you want green, then we might as well not show you any color at all. So, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because of the green screen. So, uh, okay, the shortcuts. Uh, you can see this is like the uh, afterburner logo, but because of the light adjustment, it's quite difficult for the camera. Can you to angle pick the up. camera a little bit? Uh, yeah, yeah, from the top. Yeah. But yeah, okay, this is oh, maybe it's like this. No, it's it's too difficult for the camera to pick up. Maybe in main it's yeah, <laughs> this is easier to yeah, see. It's it's easier to see but it's not really better. <laughs> no. But maybe if I turn this around a little bit, this angle it might be easier to see. Yes, perfect. Shortcut. So afterburner, yay, you now you can see it. <laughs> and then we have Valorant. And then we have Shadow of the Tomb Raider. Horizon, this one is a bit difficult. And Metro. Oh, this one. I recognize that one. So, um, yeah, whatever it is that you have chosen, uh, you can just click on this and then the game will activate. So, if you switch back to the capture area, you can see I just press on Metro and here it's already starting. But I'm getting a uh, crash, so <laughs> 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 oh, can't really help on that part. No, it started, but it just crashed because uh, there's a bug. But it has nothing to do with this. Um, oh, for sure not. Because um, let me just make sure it's closed May all the yeah. way. Yeah, it's not open anymore. So yeah, whatever it is you like. Um, let me try. Horizon, as you can see, Steam immediately started up because Horizon, uh, it plays through Steam. And voila, you have your game right there. And if you're within your gameplay, you don't want to switch back to your desktop, uh, you can, and you want to open your favorite app because you want to listen to some music, you know, you want to open Spotify, without, you know, having to exit your game, you know, all the kind of stuff, you can just press the wheel and turn to Spotify and open Spotify and like that. So that's really, you know, uh, besides really, trying to be innovative and give you guys more options, more efficiency, more uh, yeah, stuff to really benefit from. It's also just really trying to make your life easier. Is the screen a touch screen? This is not a touch screen, but maybe in the next generation it might be. Yeah, it's more like a push screen, yeah, right? This is right, right now really a, a, a... Can you maybe show that in the detailed cam how it works? <clears throat> 
Maybe from the edge? Yeah, yeah, like this. Yeah. And maybe right push angle. on it. So you can see here, it's like rippled. So there's, that's, a full, that's for a uh, better grip. So you can turn it and you can really feel a click. Well, after each turn, you can feel the click. So this will, it's basically left and right, up and down. So you turn and turn, whatever it is on the screen right now. Benchmark then, time. So turn, turn, turn. And then once you want something, you just click on that. So right now I'm in the performance modes. So it's sitting, it's sitting on balanced. I can go for silent. It will be the most power efficient. So part. the middle part of the knob, uh, you, you. Yeah, this entire area is yeah. for you to click. Yeah. It's not touch screen. So no, no touch screen, okay. So you can go for extreme performance, for example. I guess people wanted to know if they can pinch it, like zoom in. <laughs> not yet. So that's basically how this works. You can turn it, you can click on it, uh, whatever it is on the screen. Another you question in the chat, activate. I forgot from who it was, but they were asking if you have it on the side, uh, from the side, can you turn to the side? What do you mean on the side? Uh, uh, yeah, left side, indeed. Can you um, push the back part, uh, can you lower the back part, like is there uh, some mechanism in... You mean the side panel? No, I see a wheel over there, it looks like it can move. So the top part, can oh, it? Oh, because yeah. it's being attached by the wheel. Yeah. So you wonder if this whole upper area can yeah, move. S swivel or uh, go up and down. Sure. No, that's not really the case. It's not made for that, okay. No. You can see if you really use force, it can move a little bit, but <laughs> no, it's, but it's not it intended. Stick. Don't okay. do it. Clear. So that's not what it's meant for. Uh, okay, let me put this back. Uh, the knob, yes, it's customizable uh, with uh, animated GIFs, uh, G-I-F, I never know how you pronounce it in English. Um, you can, uh, yeah, you can replace them, you can even put your own picture on it. Luckily, we don't have Dancing Eric. For the next time. Do you guys want to see a Dancing Eric on, uh, on the knob? Uh, let's, not, let's not vote for that. <laughs> I'm sure some designer in our office will uh, is already working on it. Press F for yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Killed it. That's a good... Uh. Yes. Yeah, so that's our gaming knob. And right now, you know, uh, these are the functionalities that I just showed you in Dragon Center. And of course, you know, our, our engineers, our, our software teams, you know, they keep working on this and trying to improve. So, you know, in the future updates, you might even see more functionalities being added to this. You know, um, I, I can see it happen easily, but I can't promise you anything for sure for now, but it will definitely make sense. Uh, yeah, so a lot of the functionalities uh, that you can already find here. So really, this is not just a fancy volume up, volume down button like you can see on your keyboards. This is really interactive with uh, your entire system. With, you know, perform performance modes to activating Mystic Light uh, profiles and uh, to activating all the apps that you would like to have in here as a quick access. So a lot of stuff that you can do with the knob. Giveaway time, to touch Your keyboard and mouse. All right, so uh, I'm going to continue to show you guys uh, the internals. Giveaway, giveaway, giveaway. Already in the giveaway? Yeah, already. All right, man, draw it. You already have it? Already done that. <laughs> All right, man, Eric, you're really up to speed today. So who is the second winner today, huh? It's uh, One Dark Man. One Dark Man, congratulations. One Dark Man, you just got one 20 US dollars Steam Wallet called Richer Man. So congratulations with it and uh, have fun. And uh, everybody else, if you still haven't won yet, <laughs> don't worry, don't worry, there's more to come. So you're still in the drawing pool if you already participated, uh, but if you I just joined, you still have a chance. I see several questions regarding availability uh, globally. I believe it's uh, it's in, in, in about quick. one month time. Very quick. Right now it's going to be uh, maximum one month. So it's between mid-October to end of October. So okay. uh, depending on what kind of region you are, you might see it sooner than someone else. So yeah. Yeah. Actually, we are a bit early to yeah, show you yeah, this. We just really were eager and excited to show you a very early, early, like the first of its kind yeah. demonstration of the entire system. Uh, specs, uh, we already talked about. So this is up to uh, uh, i9, uh, yeah, 3080, RTX 3080. 
uh, what is it, 30, of 128 gig RAM max? Yeah. So starting at 64 and 125 or 128 is the uh, max configuration. Yeah. Uh, um, okay, so uh, now I'm going to uh, well take this thing apart to show you guys. Normally that's my job, right? If you want, you can do it. No, but, uh, I always this damage This is a very stuff. expensive machine to, uh, to break, Eric. <laughs> I, already got, I already got the message. It's, it's more than what I make in a month. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. You get the max out of everything. So, uh, okay, just, uh, you know, you, got, you guys got to be safe once you uh, start to use screwdrivers. Make sure there's no power. Pfft, amateur. Mm. <laughs> we never turn it off when you open something. You're not supposed to say that, Eric. Just come on. <laughs> You're not supposed to say that. We, we, we want to show the RGB inside when it's running. We can do that, sure. But uh, first, we got to be uh, safe. I'm ready to make screenshots. <laughs> Sparks fly off. All right. Power is off, guys. <clears throat> so no, not 2080, 3080. The new 3080. So now you know where all the stock is of the 3080. <laughs> Uh, 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 I'm just trying to grab a different uh, screw head because this one Will is too, uh, in, uh, too thin. Will it come in full matte black? Well, that's that's a good idea. At this moment, uh, we only have this one planned. Uh, but yeah, based on feedback, of course, we're looking uh, for different, mm, I don't want to say configurations, but uh, di let's say different models of different, different variation on this model. So I didn't have the right uh, screw head in this box, so let me just use a different one. I want a refund on my monitor, it keeps flickering. FBI, please check with your uh, point of sales, with your reseller. Uh, will it cost 4,000 US dollars? Ja, I think it's uh, from... It's, uh, uh, yeah, it's, it starts at uh, 3,500 uh, 3, US dollars. 3,500 US dollars is the, it's, uh, one of the entry SKUs. Yeah, I say entry, but that one is still uh, 3080 and 10700K. So wow. Yeah, so this is uh, cool stuff. Fast. Will there be a side uh, window option? So the side panel, will there be like with the tempered glass? I already saw that question also. Yeah, unfortunately, no, because this really is part of its design. Um, but who knows, maybe uh, we can think about that for the future, for the next versions, for uh, you know, maybe years after this. Um, but for now, uh, no. Shadows Entity um, is asking, uh, can you get this case on its own? So, you know, like a, like a, like a case. You know, <laughs> Eric, like we generally always hear this uh, whenever we present a uh, desktop, right? We tried an X, you know, a lot of people say yeah. that. With Infinite X, people ask that. Uh, unfortunately, no, because this will not come as a, a case only. This really is an entire pre-built system, and that's the only way it will go out of the yeah, door. Yeah, it's, it's, of course, and I mean, we, we get these uh, questions a lot for uh, our Asian Trident, etc. And it's, it's uh, not only that we don't want it, uh, it's, it's very difficult uh, because the, uh, you know, uh, the, the internals, uh, some of them are custom made. Uh, of course, there is a, a mini ITX motherboard in this, but it's not a channel model because it has special functions to uh, interact with all the other things. Yeah, yeah. That's RGB. Mm -hmm. Should I already put on the detailed cam? No, not yet. I'm just, uh, let me turn this. I have to uh, untie the uh, pin connector. And you do that out of our uh, view, just in case you damage something or what? No, 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 no. I will not damage this uh, Is there RGB inside? Yes, because RGB makes it faster. Yeah. And also uh, to add to someone uh, who just asked if he can use or replace a side panel with a, a tempered glass or something. Well, uh, there, as you can see here, there's a uh, pin connector. This will activate the mystic light, which is right in here. So this is not just a, you know, a, a, a case or a side panel on its own and that's it. This really adds up to the entire look and feel with the mystic light also yeah. right here. Let me just put this here. <clears throat> All right, so let's start with, uh, <laughs> let's start with this side. Is it fast? How many? No. 
Well, if you don't really hold it down, it will sometimes drive <laughs> away. So <laughs> be careful about that. Is uh, Linus Tech Tips going to review this? Um, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure uh, because he probably has a big schedule. But our USA team, uh, I'm sure he, he can get a sample. So starting with this side, uh, here we have uh, room for two 2.5 uh, inch in drive base. So Shall you can still I use it? Yeah, like this. And here uh, we have all the fan and RGB controller uh, hub. So, but here is something unusual that you usually do not see. So this is where we have uh, dedicated this entire chamber to uh, provide you guys with even more cooling. So this is on the back side of the VRM. So this is really to make sure to give the VRM that extra cooling. Um, you know, when it's at maximum performance to make sure that you'll never be, you know, be uh, bothered by, uh, you know, really, really high temperature and that your performance might suffer. This really, well, without this, you, I'm not saying you will have the problem. I'm just saying we are giving you more cooling, extra cooling. And that's why we have a fan right here, which is also very silent because this is also one of our custom made uh, fans. So you will not have to worry about like unnecessary extra, uh, well, fan sound, noise. That's not the case. And here we have already one of the two uh, PCIe M.2s uh, installed, which is a one terabyte version. And on two the storage. other side, there's another one terabyte uh, already pre-installed in this configuration. Yeah. So, <coughs> So this it's also easy upgradable if people yeah. want to add more storage or, or you know, in, in a couple of... Actually, storage now is pretty cheap. Yeah, really. Like compared to like two years ago when yeah. I bought my storage, I really regret it. But, but uh, let's say this is two terabyte. <laughs> I want to upgrade to four or eight. You know, it just uh, take the side panel off, put it in, configure it and you're uh, uh, done. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, you know, there is even like a cutout in the original case just to make sure you guys have the easy access towards upgrading whatever it is that you need. Yeah, and so if we... For this side. If we uh, sell this as a, a normal case, then of course your motherboard will not have this function because it will not have a PCB on the exact uh, same location that it uh, fits into that hole. And here we have the other side and this is you guys can guess right, this is the 240 uh, millimeter uh, radiator for the water cooling. Um, <clears throat> let me try to, okay, here's a screwdriver. I'm going to open this up so you guys can see just how easy it is to, if you want to replace this for whatever reason, you have the ability, if you want to upgrade this in the future, you have the ability. All you have to do is like un untie two screws right here. And you're good to go. All right, and voila. Here is the radiator really, uh, already pre-installed on the bracket. So this is like the back bracket. This is not a water cooler, uh, this is not a part of the radiator, but you can take this off because this is the radiator. And this is being installed on the bracket. So if you don't want this one in the future, you want to upgrade for uh, whatever reason, you can just take this off the bracket, you know, untie a few screws right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws. And <laughs> no, eight. <laughs> wait, yeah, eight. <laughs> if you continue counting, yeah, you I will was, probably find 100. Like, how did I get to nine? Because yeah. everything is symmetrical, so it should be even. <laughs> Uh, yeah, you would expect an Asian is good in math, right? But uh, sometimes shit happens. <coughs> so this is the radiator. And uh, <coughs> here we have our own MSI all-in-one water cooling uh, radiator, uh, the water cooling head. This is uh, actually the same one which you also saw in our Infinite X uh, live stream. Uh, so here, if you want to upgrade, you can have access towards RAM. Uh, RAM stick sitting right here, but uh, it's green, so it might be uh, keyed away by <laughs> the green screen. It might be, not so. there. <laughs> you so see floating memory chips. Yeah. You see where the screwdriver is pointing towards? Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Right I think they get the point. <clears throat> and here, 
So yeah. actually, sorry, ja. so there are four, I see four dim slots and two are occupied. Yeah, right now two are occupied. Yeah. So you have two more. In our 128 gig version, all four is also are also occupied. Clear. And on top of here, you see a white label. This is another PCI M.2 already being pre-installed on the system. Yeah. So you want to uh, upgrade this one. You don't even have to unscrew anything yet. You can just uh, yeah, screw it off. And as you can see, it's right under this chamber separator. So you can take this out. So that's to separate the airflow. So your GPU yeah. has a separate chamber and the uh, motherboard. One. And so the motherboard, so the CPU chamber is this one, which in this room, they will have their own uh, airflow. And this is for the GPU. And <coughs> if you want to uh, upgrade the GPU, no worries. Uh, all you have to do is untie this one, untie this one, the screws, take this out, this bracket, and then you have all the room left to take out the GPU. As you can see, there is no special construction in which the GPU is being hidden or something. It's just that it's being separated from the CPU by this bracket. You can take this out by tying two screws, take this out. And then, of course, you have to unscrew the bracket on the back side. Yeah, it's, uh, it's right an adventure. Here. Yeah. So make sure that this one is loose because this one is holding the backside of your GPU in place for the extra uh, hold on. I already saw people asking, can you upgrade this? Uh, so yes, you can upgrade the storage, Easily. you can upgrade the memory, you can even upgrade the, the CPU as long as it fits in the right uh, socket. And of course, if it's supported by the, um, uh, by the BIOS, by the motherboard. Yeah. So that's the why, yeah. Uh, but GPU upgrading is also possible, but this comes with a 3080, so I'm not sure to what you want to upgrade it. But let's say uh, there will be a 4080 or something. If this is uh, about the same um, uh, wattage, uh, similar like the 3080, uh, so it fits into the uh, 750 watt uh, uh, PCU, you can upgrade it, no problem. However, you know there are limitations with that. <coughs> yeah, so here you see this is our uh, 3080 Ventus X3, or 3X. So with three triple fans. And uh, <coughs> well, for, we just mentioned if you want to upgrade this one, no worries, you can also do that. But um, there's actually a third uh, PCIe M.2 slot, which is free right now. But this one is sitting behind the GPU. So if you want to add a third uh, then you do have to take out this bracket and unscrew the GPU and that's it. And you have the free uh, room for the third M.2 SSD, which is sitting right on top of this one. So yeah, as you can see, everything is being organized uh, very neatly, you know, separated. <coughs> and then having a, well, for you to have a very uh, clear access towards, uh, you know, yeah, upgrading every component because we always say this and we keep saying this is that when you uh, you know get one of our gaming desktop we make sure that whatever it is that you want to upgrade you will have the most easiest time to upgrade because nothing is being uh, hidden away or you know very being very difficult to access we try our best in whatever gaming desktop design it is that we have to make it very easy for you so you also notice that this is actually being upside down. Usually the fan is facing full downward and it's sitting right here. And the CPU will be sitting up here. And here everything is turned upside down. This is partly due to design, but also for the GPU and CPU to have even better cooling. And uh, yeah, well... Um, this, this is a is custom uh, motherboard. People yeah, are asking, can I buy this motherboard in the, the channel? No. no. So yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions regarding the internals, you can also ask me. But uh, other than that, yeah, um, really isn't much else that I can show you besides this. All um, is pretty clear. Uh, I imagine if you just take a look at this GPU, we have everything that's uh, within hand reach. If you want to upgrade anything, the RAMs, unscrew the CPU, uh, M.2 right here. Anything is right here in this chamber and the other ones you can also very easily access. So I'm going to uh, put the radiator back in place. Ja, yeah. I, uh, from Alejandro, I still don't have any uh, uh, message. So maybe you can check your Skype. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm not sure. Just, just to be sure because I added him, but he's not reacting. 
And this would be around this time that we would uh, add him. Yeah, okay, let me check. Sure, sure, please put it first together. Yeah, I can't really to see where they're all together. Here, yeah. Should be easy, right? Yeah, but I can see where the hole is from that point of view. Yeah. So oh, now I have to take a look at where it is. Um, a lot of questions about when is this shop getting M uh, 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 MSI gaming of 3080 or 3090 X3O. Uh, sorry, I don't have these details, but uh, yeah, step by step, we ship more of these cars to the channel. And uh, yeah, multiple times per week, cars are coming in and, and get uh, divided among all the countries and uh, shops. And yeah, the shop you mentioned uh, is also one of them who gets uh, stuck. Yeah, and uh, let me just take a quick look at where our friend from Intel is. Yes, um, let, uh, yeah, maybe I talk a little bit about GPU. Can you maybe uh, select the right slide for that? Yep. So talking about the 3080. Yeah, uh, because that's maybe now a nice moment. Then you can check uh, our friend from Intel. Mm -hmm. I put it on the, it doesn't change. Ah, uh, okay, uh, yeah, so um, I'm, I'm sure you all noticed in the last few weeks um, some, some, some news came online about, hey, my 3080 is crashing or it's not working or it's going back to the desktop. Um, and then uh, I think last, last Thursday we had a live stream by 3090. Uh, and that live stream, Michiel, or Mike, uh, as you know him, already said, well, we, we believe this is due to the drivers. Uh, well, at that moment we were still testing, etc. Uh, our engineer in HU also said it's not about the capacitors uh, back on the, um, on the GPU uh, because a lot of people were talking about the POS caps, the MLC capacitors. That, you know, like what NVIDIA also said, this is, uh, 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 you know, each design has a different configuration and each design is using uh, their own configuration, what is best for that design, similar like what we have. Um, and in the end, the issue was fixed by a driver. Uh, let me see, last Monday or Tuesday? Tuesday, uh, Monday, yeah, Monday evening, uh, Europe, Europe time, uh, Nvidia released a driver which fixed the issues. I'm not sure if all the issues are fixed or everything is 100% fixed. Uh, of course, that will uh, be more clear in the coming, uh, coming days of testing, weeks of testing. Yeah, okay, ja, can you take the next slide? No. Uh, some things I want to highlight uh, because a lot of people were saying, hey, MSI, uh, you're cheating or you have a different version. Uh, no, I mean, I, I easily uh, understand why this confusion uh, is in the market. What we did when we created 3080, um, you know, time to the market to, to get it in the shops always very short. So uh, we take product photos from the engineering samples we had. But before we uh, went into production, what we call MP, mass production, we changed the design. So the capacitors on the back of the uh, PCB, uh, we changed them. Then we put everything into production and then we shipped the samples to the media and we shipped the stock to the uh, shops. Well, not a lot of stock, you know, y joke. Um, but uh, we, we shipped the first batches of stock to all the uh, shops. Then people got their card and they said, hey, this one has a different configuration of capacitors than what I can find on... Uh, on the product photos you have on your website. That's correct. So people are already thinking we have a second revision or something or there's a V2 coming. No. We have one version of, of Gaming Trio, one version of Ventus, let's say an OC and a non-OC model, but that's it. There's no revision and in the market you can only find one version with uh, one set of capacitors on it in, in one uh, certain configuration. So please don't be confused. It, it was all, in the end, it was all uh, due to the driver. Um, and what we're now doing is updating the product photos on, the, uh, on our uh, product pages. Um, this is not easy. Uh, well, we can update the product photos on our product page. However, uh, a shop still has an old uh, photo of the backplate with the old capacitors on there, or the old configuration for the capacitors. So please go to msi.com. Check the product page, that's how it should look. And uh, there is no difference or benefits in the, the configuration capacitors that really depends on your model. And, and yeah, it's only, um, uh, yeah, it, it's, it's really confusing, you know, uh, with the, the, the product photos for the engineering samples and the final products. Please go to Amazon.com, check how it looks. 
And I'm sure in the, in the coming weeks you will see more reviews uh, of the updated drivers and discussions about it, but now you have it. The facts. Let me see if there are any questions regarding this. People are already talking about Vermeer. MSI PSU out globally. Um, I'm not sure yet. Uh, it's I would say no. Uh, I'm, I would say the first batch has probably arrived in some certain regions. Uh, and I do this based on that we planned a live stream about our uh, power supplies to really go in depth, take them apart. I hope I, I'm allowed to do that. Um, and we are going to do that probably beginning of uh, November, so in one month time. So, and based on that, I believe they're not available in most of the markets. I hear the driver did lower the power consumption to prevent crashing if you uh, went above two giga, uh, two gigahertz. Um, yeah, driver is. I'm not sure what the driver is doing. I'm not that technical. It's I believe something doing with voltages and 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 the behavior change uh, differs per car. But yes, it's it's all about the boost clocks. Uh, what size of PSU is recommended for 38? 750 watts. That's and more then, than enough. Yeah, that's that's more, more than, than enough. enough. And, and when we are going to do a PSU live stream, we are hopefully going to prove to you how much you really need for a power supply. Um, I already said we, we, uh, we cannot, make, uh, we cannot uh, blow everything up here. Uh, but yeah, we're, we're going try. to push, try to push the limits and to <coughs> see what happens with the power supply and, and uh, if you overload it and, and how you can uh, detect the instability. Why not AMD? Well, that's a good question. Uh, for now, um, most we have AMD, uh, but for this model uh, we choose for Intel and an NVIDIA configuration. Uh, but we also have AMD uh, gaming desktops in the market. Ja, did you find something on uh, Skype? Yeah. Um, so yeah, you want to finish this first, then uh, yeah, I mean, can, uh, yeah. oh yeah, so I yeah. mean, this is there is only one version. I already told everybody <sighs> there are some some yeah. rumors. Or speculations, I should say, like there is a second revision. No, it's all about the wrong product photos. There's only one version. Don't be confused. <coughs> all right. So yeah, uh, Ali, uh, Alex is actually here. He's just saying like he has some internet problems. He crashed. So uh, if we can contact him again on the account there, maybe try to call <sighs> him or uh, let me I'm see not sure why it's not going over. The, the, the strange thing is he should accept my invitation. Yeah, he's not seeing it yet, so that's the thing. Yeah, and, and my message is, let me, one moment, what I'm going to do, um, <coughs> all right, so uh, right now we're going to uh, try to get our friend from Intel on the line so we can have a nice chat regarding uh, a lot of the specifications that's sitting, uh, well, right in this Aegis Ti5. <coughs> so, uh, hopefully we'll get the uh, little problem sorted out very quickly. <coughs> yeah. I'm just going to try to call him, not mm -hmm. sure if it works. Let's see. He isn't online. Yeah, in the meantime, guys, uh, just give us some feedback regarding, uh, you know, what you have seen so far, you know, if you prefer a different kind of design, if you prefer a different kind of setup, or uh, if you prefer maybe uh, anything else, you know, that comes to mind, or you can also tell us, you know, what you do like. Uh, any feedback is appreciated. Jai, put another giveaway on the screen. Ooh, all right. Mm, 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 mm. It's quite strange that uh, this isn't working. Uh, can you maybe uh, forward um, this Skype account that yeah, he can actually, add? Actually, uh, I'm doing it right now. He also asked that. That's a great idea. Uh, okay. So uh, meanwhile, uh, I did a um, yeah, like a lucky draw for the third winner. Uh, third winner is oh, difficult nickname. Fos. 
Vas, I hope I now pronounce this correctly. Vas, congratulations. In the coming days, uh, on email, uh, we will send you a $20 um, Steam voucher. So you can select a nice game. If you want to participate, I hope the chatbot on uh, Skype and Twitch are is still working. Uh, each five minutes will uh, spam the URL. Oh, that was my headset. That's not good. <coughs> Let's keep this in one piece. Um, and yeah, you can still participate. We will uh, give more uh, vouchers away. Or you can go on other channels, uh, msi.com slash to slash insider. Yeah, so what we're... L let me check some questions. Does MSI create new mouse and keyboard and headset? Uh, yes, uh, some new models coming up. Uh, we also recently released some models. Uh, and yeah, if you uh, scroll back on our YouTube channel, you see uh, we also have some dedicated live streams about our, uh, mouse, uh, keyboard and headsets. And you, <laughs> you will find uh, uh, Peter and Michiel talking in depth about what switches they love and why and how the keyboard are constructed. And all the, the benefits of those products. Uh, sometimes they, they are quite technical, uh, but it's very interesting to watch. Uh, when will this be available in the US? Also in about one month time, uh, I would say, uh, this Easy Sti 5 is available in the US. Will there be a live stream about Zen 3? Uh, yes, uh, we didn't plan it yet, uh, because we, we know when AMD is going to announce Zen 3, uh, at least you know that, that's, that's, what we, uh, that's what they announced. But we, if we do a live stream, we want to talk about the product itself. So, you know, uh, depends when we have a sample, uh, when we're allowed. Most of the times we get quite early samples, uh, but it also depends on uh, when we are allowed to do benchmarks in the public. And by that time, also uh, all the editors will have reviews online. And by that time, we also have some nice new MSI B550 models. <clears throat> so we're still trying to troubleshoot why Skype is uh, having some difficulties with this right now. Yeah, my messages are not coming through. Still not? No, it says he's not online, unable to send message. Hmm, strange. Okay, I just pick another a few questions. So what is the price for the highest end model of this uh, Easy Sti 5? Um, I don't know, Ja. Mm -hmm. This well, is like 5K? You, yeah, if you really want the 5,000 US highest, dollars. We are uh, around 5K US dollars. Yeah, but that is a. Uh, do you know what kind of configuration you're talking about? That's like i9? Yeah, that's uh, that will be i9 10900K with uh, RTX 3080. You get 128 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM and uh, 3 terabytes of uh, PCIe M.2. You get extra hard drive and, uh, you know, yeah. 2.5 G LAN, 1.5 G LAN, uh, 750 watt uh, cold SFX power supply, really uh, the most top end. <coughs> uh, does the Easy Sti 5 come with a mouse and keyboard? No, it doesn't. Also, no monitor included. That's maybe a nice option for a bundle. <laughs> um, will there be a Ryzen 5000 option later? I'm, I'm not sure if it's called Ry Ryzen 5000, that's not confirmed yet. Uh, but you're referring to uh, Zentry. Um, I believe, not planned right now, right, Ja? Not now. But so, or are uh, you not, are really you not allowed to, sure. to, tell, uh, to talk about it? <laughs> I would like to talk about it, but uh, unfortunately it's just not planned okay, yet. Okay, not planned, yeah. Uh, so don't expect that uh, uh, this year. Uh, sound is horrible on the Twitch channel. Hmm, that's interesting. Uh, let me check. <laughs> now we're now we're both troubleshooting, Ja. Really? <laughs> yeah, I, I'm. I'm. Well, looks like here everything is correct. Let me check the the monitor. We're live. I see no tef technical difficulties. That's strange. 
<clears throat> yeah, actually, he has also tried to c uh, contact you, but he is getting the same message as you with uh, the uh, exc exclamation mark. That's quite strange. Just saying it's not coming through. Well, w what I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on active. I was like, do not disturb. No, same. That's... Is this, is this uh, contact uh, detail okay? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Uh, that's uh, one that I forwarded directly from yeah. his own... Uh Strange. Um, sound is okay for me. Good, thanks. Uh, I, I checked it and I couldn't find any errors for the sound. <laughs> Amps a gaming, gaming monitor with uh, NVIDIA G-Sync. We already have two models on the market uh, with uh, G-Sync. Um, and like what you could see in our, I think our uh, first initial live stream about uh, RTX 3080, we're also coming up with a 360 Hertz uh, G-Sync model. And yeah, when we will launch that. Yeah, um, I'm really gonna look forward to that one. <laughs> yeah, um, yeah, I know you do. Gotta get my eSports going on. Yeah. Uh, and when we will launch that, of course, we will have a live stream, uh, so you, we can take it apart. <laughs> uh, Eric, uh, are you seeing someone else with a different account trying to talk to you? No. Otherwise, yes, you yes, yes, yes. Oh so no, that's you. Is it this one? <laughs> no, I, 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 I'm trying to add him. Okay. Otherwise, you can use that one. Uh, and copy. And hopefully, the problem is solved. Add. <laughs> Done. Oh, this is a group. Oh, I always God. love it when technology just comes together like this. I don't want this. I want a uh, new chat. Let me see if this works. Come on, you can do this. Come on. Yes. Hello, Alex. All right. I'm fine. Can you uh, please enable your webcam? We did it. Sorry for the inconvenience, guys. <laughs> um, of course, we uh, are doing a little bit more in-depth troubleshooting once again, but uh, it's part of the game, right, guys? So uh, I'm sure you all understand. <coughs> but Sorry. in the meantime, when we yeah. are uh, trying to figure all this out... Oh, seems to be working. You guys can see me? Maybe not yet. It's oh, coming. One moment. It's coming. Maybe I need to change this. Uh, properties active speaker. No, not yet. Yeah, we're well, almost not. Almost there. <laughs> so close. I can. Feel oh, it. Uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody. I believe everybody can hear you now on the live stream. Okay, that's good. Uh, if you guys, while well, we figured out the camera, <laughs> we can start a conversation and just have an imaginary friend an imaginary voice talking <laughs> <laughs> yeah well, it's always like this, this. i mean uh, uh we are doing things live uh guys so uh we're trying to call in with somebody on skype and then the connection doesn't work happens doesn't matter yeah why is my camera sorry working on my camera what we also can do is uh, send me a picture. I will include it. Okay. <laughs> then at least uh, people know who you are. That's, uh, can... that's uh, one way to solve it, I guess. Yes. It's something. I'll send you a picture. Uh, let me do this right here. Uh, I can do this. Mm. All right. Uh, I mean, uh, Alex, it's okay if uh, we can get it working. Uh, it's it's fine. 
No okay. worries. <laughs> oh, the file's too large. Awesome. Let's try that again. So we already know your name, Alejandro. Yes. Uh, yeah, Alejandro, that's me. I go by Alex. Sometimes it makes it easier, depending. Yeah, and you're working for Intel, right? Yes, I work for Intel. I am. I started as an engineer. I was an in, a design engineer for five, six years, designing processors. And then uh, I was seduced by the dark side of technical marketing, so I, I came over. <laughs> oh, you were actually designing processors. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Sounds I like did, the real well, heavy-duty stuff. Yeah, I was I was on the uh, on the chipset side, so I work on PCIe, SATA, DMI uh, on the analog yeah. side. So, all right, yeah, definitely very uh, <laughs> very technical. <laughs> so uh, yeah, all right. At least uh, we know uh, just how technical you actually are. But then, <laughs> like you told me before, you joined the dark side. Huh? Yes, yes. Uh, so. they, uh, they told me I had social skills allegedly. So. Mm. <laughs> So yeah, so I decided to come over, and, and also it was uh, on gaming, which was one of uh, things I love. I mean, all of us like love gaming, so like coming over, be a technical marketing engineer on the gaming side of the world and overclocking. So I was like, why, why not? I mean, yeah, who will exactly. say no to that? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> So yeah, uh, obviously there you uh, had a lot to do. Well, it worked a lot on uh, the whole process with uh, the intention uh, Intel CPUs, of course. Still, you know, standing on the throne. So you know, really, uh, if you want to get everything out of your uh, whatever generation GPU it is, you know, you go for a 10900K to really make sure there's nothing going on. Hey, yeah, look that. at that. <laughs> there you are. All right, guys. <laughs> now we have. Uh, uh, <laughs> now no. yeah. Just have to cut, cut it properly then. <laughs> well, we just improvise. Uh, yeah. You know, that's the beauty, guys, of course, right? If you do something live, because, uh, yeah, that's just uh, how technology works, right? So uh, sometimes you win, sometimes uh, you get into a funny situation like this. Yep, no, that's correct. Technology, it's not like we yeah. work in technology, so mm. we wouldn't know any better. <laughs> But yeah, so yeah, the, 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 the performance, you know, of the 10th gen uh, Intel CPUs, it's still uh, rock and solid. Yes, yes, well, definitely when it comes to, to gaming, it, it is rock and solid, that's what you want. And now with the latest launch of NVIDIA's video cards, so it's, it's exactly what you want in there. Because the thing is, uh, you don't want to bottleneck one or, or the other, right? Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. So once, once, you... Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, no, no, you, sorry, you go ahead. No, I was going to say, once you, I mean, if you have a powerful video card, you don't want your CPU to hold you back. And that's when, uh, you know, frequency comes into in handy, you know, that, that balance and frequency in course, it comes comes in handy to to get make sure you get the most out of that, that, uh, that new and shiny video card you just got. Yeah, so uh, really, you know, uh, I, I mean, obviously, you guys are really busy in-house, you know, testing all the uh, outcoming uh, 30, uh, 30 series with your uh, Tension CPUs uh, to see, uh, you know, all this kind of performance stuff. And um, I can imagine, you know, even now, you know, with 30 series, you know, having been this kind, this new, you know, re already newer than Tension CPUs, but it's still like the, like something like 10, uh, 700K to 900K is still going to be rock solid, even for the 30 series, because that's still, uh, well, from a lot of the benchmarks that we have seen, it's still uh, absolutely no problem. Yes, yes. So for the benchmarks, uh, we we're very happy what we have, depending on your on, on the game that you're looking at. Uh, it is rock solid. Uh, oh, there's a bunch of different uh, new technology into that, uh, especially when it comes to to overclocking. But uh, since we're talking about gaming here, one of the things that is pretty interesting about that uh, tenth gen processor is actually the memory uh, the memory control they have in there. And the reason that is that is special for for gamers is because uh, there's this thing called uh, well, uh, memory frequency translates into uh, frames per second. Not directly, but it actually does influence pretty, has a very big, a big influence in that. And the memory module that we have decide or the actually th that is inside that processor, right. it's one of the best that we have done. And uh, you, you guys have it, have it in there in this amazing, amazing system. And what it does is you can support uh, a lot of higher frequencies that will help you get those, you know, those Frames per second. Frames per second wins your game. So. Yeah, and some games are uh, especially uh, keen on uh, memory speed. Uh, for example, GTA 5, 
uh, you see a big difference in memory uh, speed over there. So you really win frames per second, um, which is important, of course, to make everything mm -hmm. fluent. Yeah. <laughs> yes, and, yes. Uh, definitely. We know with the 10900 k so sitting in the Asus TI5, we make sure you know the frames are there. So uh, <laughs> that's at least never going to be the problem. But uh, you know, interesting that you mentioned this kind of stuff because generally this is not something you usually hear online or in other reviews when people are talking about you know performance. So uh, you know, really takes a, uh, a very technical tech guy, you know, especially for Intel to uh, really explain to us this kind of stuff because, like I said, this is not something that you usually hear about. So yeah, that's uh, really insightful information. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. I think for some reason you guys let me know, but uh, the the Camera transmission guys. Yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I do see you are. You might be having some problem with uh, the XSplit. Uh, you're background. even having a green screen. <laughs> yeah. Hey, hey I, I'm just. Well, just I'm, I'm not going to yeah. remove your picture. I'm just going to uh, hide it, just in case. Well, let me yeah, first you never fix, know. fix this green screen. This is going yeah, to be I, so cool. I, we I, never I, have guests with our own green screen. Yeah, what what happened was I know what happened is I had a uh, XSplit window open and XSplit takes co uh, completely over control of your uh, camera controls. That way, when I open Skype to do the communication with you guys, uh, it wouldn't release the control of the camera. So I said it had a uh, issue connected to the to the camera. So I just went and yeah, shut off XSplit. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, I know. I mean, t trust me, we know all about these kind of issues with, uh, you know, streaming software, uh, you know, Skype, audio, video. We're just happy that everything finally works. <laughs> so, you know, people can actually see you move now. It's yeah, not just yeah. being buffed sitting there. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, a little, that, that picture is a little uh, intimidating. I don't know. <laughs> looks, looks yeah, cool. I, already saw, I already saw some uh, comments in the chat like Mr. Clean. <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, where do, that is. <laughs> where do you work out? Uh, yes, I do. I, I allegedly I do work out. Yeah. 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 But right, you, so you actually yeah. designed uh, processors in the past? Uh, yeah. I mean, it takes a couple of hundreds of us to design a processor. Of course, but of yes. Course. Yeah, yeah. I, I was responsible. Well, not the processor. You know, uh, the chip, the PCH. Yes. So I was res responsible for designing the so the PCIe transmitter, the P the DMI. The DMI is the connection that goes between yeah. the PCH and the and the processor, and also uh, SATA. Okay, cool stuff. Yeah. So yeah, it's yeah it was it was it was a lot of fun. But uh, hey, gaming it's it's even more fun, and then I get to talk to you guys about it, so it's it's even better. <laughs> Do you yeah. game? Yeah, uh, yes, I spawn. I spawn a lot. <laughs> really? Yeah, I, I've uh, I played. So currently, I'm playing two games. I'm playing. Um, I'm dying a lot on Call of Duty, Warzone. I mean, I can hold my own, but I'm not. I'm not perfect. And uh, I started playing uh, Avengers. Just uh, I'm an Avengers fan, and and I was a little curious to when this so, game just came out. Okay, so you really like have the, uh, the the background, you know, behind gaming, you know, the technology part. You got that down, but you also try to see you know, how to translate into your own experience when you're gaming. So, like, is this like the kind of setup that you also use to get you know the max frames out of your uh, setup? Yes, I, so I yes, I have. Too. I wish it was that nice looking. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we can arrange and something maybe. <laughs> And, and, you, and you guys know that RGBs uh, makes it go faster and more frames per second. Absolutely. So, uh, I'm missing. I'm missing all the RGBs. No, one thing that I uh, that I was really impressed about this uh, system that you have right next to you is uh, the orientation of the motherboard, which it was uh, was was pretty cool to me because it actually it tells me that you guys were thinking a lot about thermals. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, uh, you actually did notice this, so uh, I guess you also did your homework, you know, looking inside and stuff like that. So yeah, uh, that's exactly why uh, we also try to, you know, just as you already noticed, like upside down and stuff like that. So uh, right. yeah, um, <laughs> really happy that you uh, noticed. Yeah, yeah, no, I, yeah, I've. Uh... I was I was looking at it. And I was like, oh, that's pretty cool. And the way you guys, because the video card for I don't know if you guys have for the audience, and the video card is all the way to the top, and and uh, heat heat goes up, so everything everything goes up in that way, and that way you have a vent in the top, so it's easier to keep this this case cool. 
and I thought that was pretty pretty amazing. The other thing that I thought was pretty neat is you guys have their Wi-Fi six, right? Yes. Yeah. So uh, yeah. that's a big improvement right, compared to the uh, last gen. So yes. the, the latest generation now it's uh, uh, AX, but nowadays everything is called Wi-Fi five, and then the AX is called Wi-Fi six to to make everything easy. I, yeah, I guess so. I guess we got tired of calling it 802.11a, <laughs> b, g, a, c. Yeah, yeah, yeah I, indeed. That was that was that was our nerd code. We felt special with that. Now <laughs> now it's Wi-Fi six. Yeah, no, it's just so. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I think we had we had more talks about it in the past on our live streams. I, I believe Wi-Fi six is the first decent Wi-Fi for gaming. Um, it, it's a big step forward. It is. It is. And and one of the reasons is a big step forward for that is because Wi-Fi six enables. What is called multiple user, multiple input, multiple output, or it sounds like a Pokemon, or like Moo Mimo. That's the. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I never thought about it that way, but yeah, makes sense. Yeah, so, so Moo Mimo, what it allows you to do is, uh, like you were mentioning before, in Wi Fi 5, you can have like four, maximum of four systems talking at the same time. And if you have something before Wi Fi 5, uh, it was only the router will talk directly to one system at a time. So we'll have to go like round robin talking to, the, to all your devices. And I was thinking this morning before I connected to you guys, like how many wireless devices I have in my house? And I was like, just with the TVs and the uh, intelligent uh, light switches, I, I'm already at 10. So not even counting uh, uh, computers. So that, that is huge because now you can actually connect to eight. So with Wi-Fi 6, you connect to eight devices directly uh, at the same time, not just going round robin. And Wi-Fi 5, you can do four, but now Wi-Fi 8, I mean, sorry, with Wi-Fi 6, you can do eight, up to eight there talking directly. And so you can also, yes, yes, you double up. And also actually the bandwidth, the theoretical bandwidth is, is double. Uh, before it was like eight, 867, and now you're to 2.4 gigabytes. So everything's going up, and also the routing of the packages, and you can also uh, figure it out uh, how to uh, decide traffic. So if you want to uh, decide, uh, figure it out like direct access to your gaming computers, like give priority to that, you can also do that. Yeah, traffic shaping. Uh, yeah, exactly. So yeah, Wi-Fi six is pretty exciting. It is really exciting, like you said, it's probably the most exciting Wi-Fi in in a while. Uh, I have some questions um, on the chat. I actually, I have a lot of questions on the chat. Um, yeah, people are asking for the bottleneck for the 3080. I'm not sure if you can talk about it, uh, Alex. Uh, let me see what the question was. Um, it yeah, is it 10700K a bottleneck for the 3090, even for the 3090? Or do you need a 10900K for that? Uh, do you want to answer that or will, uh, shall I answer? Uh, you give it a shot. I want to see what, what you're thinking. Um, yeah. I, have an, I have an idea. Yeah, so uh, actually we already talked about bottlenecks last... Was it last week? Yeah? yeah, it was last week. Yeah, last week we, thought, uh, we talked about 3090. Uh, and, and CPU bottlenecks only occurs uh, in low frame. Uh, sorry, in low resolution. resolution. So if you talk 1080p... Yep, that's correct. And then it also uh, depends on the game. So for example, Counter-Strike uh, is really CPU limited. The faster your CPU is, the higher the frame rate. But there are also other games which are not CPU uh, limited. And especially when you scale up to 4040p, 4K, uh, then the graphics card will be the, uh, yep. the limiting fa factor. <coughs> and then actually, if you have a, like an i5 or an i7 or an i9, the difference in, in uh, frames per second is not that huge anymore. Uh, there is still, of course, right. a gap. Um, maybe you have uh, anything to add, Alex? No, 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 you're right. And you're completely right. That's what we have seen. As you go up in resolution, uh, it goes from, from, from CPU to, to video card. And uh, that also has to do with uh, uh, the capacity of the memory bandwidth of the, of the video card, right? Uh, how much frames in that you know is a bigger frame to output and yeah, yeah exactly that's what we have seen. That's yeah, but the valid question of course then is why do I need a fast CPU? Uh, because I'm only playing, for example, on 4K. Well, you need to think about all the things in the background. Uh, a lot of people nowadays are streaming, like we are uh, at this moment, uh, listening to YouTube channels. Uh, you know, maybe capturing uh, <coughs> some of your gameplay. A lot of uh, applications running in the background, which yeah, also, also needs you know, decent yeah. CPU power. Especially when people like have multi multiple setups, you're going to have more stuff running at the same time because you're using yeah. that extra space that yeah, you have. Exactly. So more the more processes there's going on in the background, you know, the more you're going to require from your CPU, especially when you're gaming too. So yeah, yeah, there yeah. Were reasons enough. No, <laughs> I was just going to say there were reasons enough, but yeah, yeah, there's plenty. I mean, and a lot of us 
who are not i mean all of us like for example when we get stuck in depending on the game at least when you're playing an rpg game you're like oh let me go to see what's going on on youtube see if there's a guide so you're you're gaming and you're following the guide and i mean there's a bunch of other stuff that you're there that's going on in the background like you guys said i have a question of uh about li-fi i never heard about that li-fi oh, not sure li-fi. if it's something but when is Li-Fi li- going this. to pop off? I prefer it because it doesn't harm <laughs> doesn't harm your brain's brain with RF waves. Yeah, Li-Fi. So, so Li-Fi is like uh, when you have like for example a light bulb that can directly send down the uh, the, the the internet hmm? signals something? right li-fi? to your message. But Li-Fi mm-hmm. is going to be limited to a very 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 small space because that's going to be where the signals are going to be directed. It's not going like everywhere. But so like, like a laser. That's yeah, that it's the like L, a laser. The but then the laser will transmit the inter- internet signals instead. Light fidelity. Yeah. Light fidelity. So, oh. so Jao, how do you know about this stuff? Because I used to work at Philips Lighting. Ah. So we were ah. Kind of trying to pioneer this I was insulted stuff. because I thought I was a big one. Oh, yeah. That was, yeah, I know. It's, it's not, it's not like general uh, knowledge because it's really very industry specific. So that's why uh, I, w- I was also a little bit confused because I was like, hmm, life it's not really kind of like uh, has, has anything to do with this kind of cases, except for they can like, post like transmit internet signals, but it's like vastly different industry. But um, yeah, but, I mean, it's an interesting oh. topic for you guys. <laughs> bye bye, Alex. About, so. <laughs> All right. I'm, I'm back. I'm back. No, Sorry. well, your webcam. <laughs> Oh, yeah, okay. Oh, you just got bigger. <laughs> He's taking over. <laughs> yeah. So, you know, you to conclude, you know, you know, if I want to take my ESSD i5, and, you know, I was like, you know, I want to play something on my TV for now, you know, just sit back on the couch, you know, have some wireless keyboard and mouse, you know, I don't want to drag the cable around. Definitely, you know, Wi-Fi 6 is going to be very, very capable of handling, you know, whatever I'm going to do. Uh, yeah, if I'm dragging my PC around, you're sitting somewhere where I you know that the cable is not going to reach, or I'm going to friends at LAN parties or stuff like that. Um, yeah, I mean, Wi-Fi 6 is just going to be so much easier. Yeah, now, now that you bring your LAN parties, uh, that 2.5 uh, Ethernet con- gigahertz Ethernet connection comes really, really handy mm-hmm. for that, right? If, especially, I mean, I, I was I had the honor and the pleasure to go last year back when we can actually be together. <laughs> yeah, I re- uh, remember those times. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, I, I was in. Uh, I was able to go to a DreamHack uh, on awesome. Sweden. That was that was amazing. And let me tell you, having that connection, that 2.5 gigahertz there, would make a big, big difference. And a lot of people ask, is like, why five gigahertz? I'm sorry, why 2.5 gigahertz and not five gigahertz or 10 gigahertz? And uh, the answer to that question has to do with the infrastructure that is already set up uh, around the world. So the cables that have been set up, that are already in mm-hmm. place. Yeah. Uh, the, the current cables so the, that are set up in place right now are able to hold that frequency, so that bandwidth, that speed of communication. Now, if you go to, five, to 5G or higher, then you actually have to take all those wires out and put new wires to do that. So that's why it, it goes to 2.5, not to 5. So to yeah, take advantage makes, of all yeah, the infrastructure that's already set up. Yeah, lucky now you also see a lot of uh, switches uh, coming on the market or, or hotspots uh, with 2.5 gig because the yeah, first was only 10 and this is a nice yep. step between. Will there also be 5 um, in the coming years or will it go from 2.5 to 10 directly? Oh, that that's a good question. I I, I honestly don't yeah, know. I, I need to go check that, out. That's why what, what I the, also don't know. Yeah. That's why I asked it. Um, maybe can you maybe t- uh, talk a little bit about uh, your boost speeds? One of the questions in the chat from Edwin on uh, YouTube is: Are Intel processors overclocked automatically uh, to the max, like Ryzen processors do? That is uh, that's a great question. So yes. So well, not. Uh, so okay, uh, about, I think on, he's uh, asking about your boost speeds and, and the, the boost mechanism in your CPUs. Yeah, so we have our boost speeds, uh, especially on the 10th gen. And uh, so the processor has different uh, boost speeds depending on the on a, a th- different things. So it depends on uh, the, the temperature and it depends on the amount of power is dragging. And also, so once it looks at the temperature, it will decide which frequency it can hit. It could go, for example, for the 10900K, when we look at an all-core all turbo frequency, it could go all cores up to 4.9 uh, gigahertz. Now, if you're just using one core, sorry, if there's only one core, it will go, can go all the way to 5.3 gigahertz. 
so it all depends if you're going from all cores, two cores, three cores, four cores. So that will definitely change. But the idea is to hit that. Now, if you have a processor that it's a, at the end has a, the letter K, like we have here with the, with this MSI system, you can actually go in and overclock it and try to get uh, high frequencies. Yeah. It, of course, it, this will depend on what uh, cooling solution you have and also uh, the, the, well, MSI has amazing motherboards, the motherboard and the power delivery and a bunch of other stuff. Yeah, I think also cooling. And Ja already showed earlier that uh, in this one uh, is some water cooling, Ja. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So uh, still very capable in here. Yeah. So and uh, yeah, the better the cooling is, the more um, headroom you have for overclocking. Yes. For right. autom let's say automatic overclocking the boost speeds. Ooh. Yeah, sorry. And now that you mentioned, yeah, so we have also a couple of different softwares that are for free. Uh, that it, well, and I think you guys might have that too. That it does automatic uh, overclocking yeah. or like, so, yeah. So there's like one button overclocking. So yeah, th those those also come really handy. Yeah. yeah. So easy nowadays. I don't remember back in the days where you have to figure everything out. <laughs> like, oh, what does this mean? What does that mean? <laughs> well, that that is the point of these boost uh, speed architectures. You also see this with the 3080, but also with the CPUs nowadays. The uh, there is actually no fun anymore in manual overclocking because the the architecture takes care of everything. It you know it, it almost checks how much this, the cores can do, and scales to the maximum speeds based on thermals, based on uh, maybe the, the per core uh, or CPU dies. So, yeah, bye bye manual yeah. overclocking. <laughs> yeah, unless you're trying to hit like a world record, then you can, course, yeah. you can have to go back to those days. But for, for now, for, for gaming purposes or anything like that, yeah, yeah it's, it's a lot easier. We still plan to do an LN2, uh, so liquid nitrogen overclocking session in our office, but we checked with insurance and um, it was no no. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> we need to find a moment when nobody here in the office is paying attention uh -huh. and then um, we yeah. will find our moment. You know, like Nike session, just do it. Yeah, just do it. I know, exactly. I heard it's easier to ask for forgiveness than to ask for exactly. forgiveness. Exactly. <laughs> you know what's going on. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, all right. Um, yeah. Uh, all right, Alex. Uh, I think um, uh, maybe there's something you still want to uh, tell the audience or tell us regarding, you know. Uh, yeah, maybe uh, this one is Thunderbolt, yeah? Yeah. Um, so maybe we yeah, can we talk can, a little uh, bit about that because I think Thunderbolt is a quite interesting uh, yes. technology, yes, let's so say it like that. Yeah. It's definitely very multi purpose and good at what it does in every aspect. Yeah. <laughs> Because this, uh, you know, this this model is Thunderbolt uh, 3, but in the future this is going to be, uh, actually it's still called Thunderbolt 3, but also it will in incorporate USB 4.0, right? Right, right, that's correct. So, yeah, so currently, yeah, Thunderbolt 3 incorporated US, uh, USB 4, so actually we released the, uh, I forget what it was. Oh, Anyways, so yeah, don't tell our chat about NDA information because they <laughs> like that kind of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't, don't tell them we are going to release this and this. <laughs> yeah, I might show up on video card well, and then I have an email later on. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, so it's, yeah, so Thunderbolt 3 comes actually it's a great it's a great port, especially if you are a content well, for everybody, but especially if you're a content creator and you're dealing with massive uh data, uh videos, and now that everybody's sh not everybody, but the majority of people are shooting four K or higher resolution or amount yeah. there. And you need to transfer that data quickly over uh to your to your system and actually to do some editing, right? So Thunderbolt 3 comes in, in really handy. I don't know. Also, another cool thing about Thunderbolt is that you can daisy chain. So daisy yes. chain, that means is you can actually hook that. Uh, let's say you, you hook the, the, the computer to a monitor. If that monitor is also Thunderbolt uh, compatible, you can plug in a wire to that monitor and go to another monitor or to go to another device. And you can go and so on and so yeah, forth. Basically, you need so one it, cable or let's say... Uh, Exactly. From from client to client, instead of a host to all yep. of the clients. Yes. Yeah, so you, yeah, exactly. You go from client to client, and with just one, one cable, it makes life yeah. easier. And the speed that, you, that you're reaching, it's it, it's amazing. Yeah. I, uh, well, for you guys, you guys do all, I mean, all this uh, video, uh, it is definitely, it makes uh, makes a big difference. For example, when, I, when I'm shooting, when I was shooting before, just doing the what we call the dailies. So what it is is once you finish uh, the shooting of the day, you want to go and do backups and duplicates, and that just takes forever and a day when you're copying and you're downloading. Yeah. Uh, for those guys who, yeah. 
work with a lot with video. Yeah, so next week, uh, next week, uh, Wednesday, uh, the 7th of October, we're going to have a live stream uh, together with Seagate. And then we're going to talk all about storage. So we're going to talk about SATA devices, PCI Express uh, Gen 3, Gen 4, uh, USB, actually USB uh, 20 gig as well. It's called USB 3.2. 2, yep, 2x2, 2x2. Uh, anyway. It's a great, great, yeah, it's, it's a great name. <laughs> yeah, uh, but uh, I prefer USB 20 long. geek, uh, to, <laughs> which indicates the forms, but also Thunderbolt. So we will have a Thunderbolt device. We have all these kind of devices. We're going to benchmark them and talk with Seagate about how this uh, helps you with games, because games nowadays are really getting huge. Yeah, well, cool. every time I get a, 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 a patch from... Uh, Call of Duty yeah. is like, here's a here's 50 gigs. I'm like, oh uh, yeah, it's like. You know, I was hey, talking with Jab before season, we started this live stream. Let's go play. Oh shit, I forgot to update the 60 gig. Yeah. <laughs> I forgot to buy more hard yeah. drives. You know, it's a it's a pure coincidence. I think all three of us here are like quite into uh, Warzone. <clears throat> anyway, yes, chat my, into I Warzone. I mean, it's. I'm gonna look you guys up. Yeah, it's just a really fun game to play, especially with your uh, friends. Yes, yes, yeah, it's, a, so it's a lot of fun. You have the Rambo, you know, you have the American Sniper. <laughs> yep, you got exactly. <laughs> you got everything there. Yeah. But uh, what you guys were calling out, like for next week, I think is a very, it's a very exciting time right now for storage because there's so much going on from, like you said, from PCI Gen 4 all the way to to SATA, and to all the different. Things that I mean, the different uh, options that they are for storage. From yeah, maybe they'll go into SSDs and explain what an SLC and MLC and all the different flavors of SSDs. Because a lot of think a lot of times you think that there's only one flavor of SSD, and actually there's there's a very different between one and the other. I have a question in the chat, and if you don't want to answer, just say you know uh, it's uh, we we cannot talk about it. Intel and PCI Express Gen 4. Mm -hmm. <laughs> is, yeah, I mean. <laughs> yes, go ahead. <laughs> well, the question is, uh, what about that? Uh, anything uh, coming up? Well, okay, that's uh, that's the conclusion. Up, actually, uh, here, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna stay tuned for the next couple of weeks. Okay, cool. I'm gonna just yeah. say that. Yeah. Um, yeah. It like re really soon. You'll hear something on that. No, that's promising. I mean, it's probably the worst kept secret, but yeah. <laughs> but still, you're not allowed to <laughs> official talk secret. about that. Uh, another question <laughs> about a uh, product. I think it's already launched, Tiger Lake. I think that is announced like yes. beginning of uh, yes. the 3rd of yeah, so, September, right? Yes, that was right. So Tiger Lake was launched, like you said, the 2nd oh, of September. Second, okay. Yeah, uh, it, uh, there's different flavors of Tiger Lake. Uh, so the one that was launched, it was the the Thin and Light, which is very impressive because it also has uh, our latest and greatest new graphics. So as you guys might know, we're pushing uh, the, the new uh, new boundaries of the graphics yeah. from, from our side for integrated graphics. That is our, uh, what are we calling it? The, the, our XE graphics. Okay? Yeah, so the, it's actually very we good. are really interested in that because in the end, you know, you will also start making dedicated graphics cards. Yes. Or let's say yes, de yes, GPUs yeah. for dedicated graphics cards. Yes. So yeah, GPUs for dedicated graphics cards. That's what all games card. are waiting uh, that, for. <laughs> yes, that's uh, yeah, that's the idea for that. Uh, uh, yeah, actually, that, that's the stepping stone to get to the to the gaming video yeah, card. Indeed. So uh, Rome wasn't built in a day, so we're going slowly trying to get there. So yeah, that's our first step, and the idea is to get there uh, relatively soon. Yeah. Okay. Thanks. I wish I could tell you guys how soon, but yeah, that's it. That's we will it. see. We will just we'll wait. There. Looking and look surprised. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, yeah. indeed. Um, uh, okay then. Yeah, um, thanks for your time. Uh, yeah, Alex, I think uh, we're going to uh, yeah do some be gaming benchmarks and stuff like that. And uh, it was definitely very interesting and really lovely to have you on the show. And uh, hopefully, maybe see you again in the future. Yes, thank you guys, uh, and I apologize for taking no most problem of the at all. all the ideas for taking this long. And yeah, hopefully to work with you guys in the future more than more than happy. You guys are awesome. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. See you. Bye bye. Thank Take you care. Have a nice have day. A good day. All right. Cheers. Thank you. Have a good day. Bye. <clears throat> All right, guys. Uh, hopefully, uh, you guys learned one thing or two uh, for the conversation just now, and we definitely had some uh, yeah 
interesting discoveries there. But uh, all right, now we're going to uh, continue benchmarking with time. some benchmarkings because you guys have been asking for this uh, for quite some time now. And of course, uh, no oh, benchmark. Oh, Intel, sorry, Josh, yep. we just missed the question. Intel GPU public release date. Ah, sorry, we missed it. Continue. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> just missed it. But uh, of course, no, uh, wait, let me just uh, open some apps up first. Uh, but of course, no I benchmarking can go to the desktop is complete capture? without, uh, yeah. No benchmarking Ooh. is complete without benchmarking the Zinnabench, right? That's <sighs> like the starting point. You know, I didn't um, like this game. I think um, we're having a little bit of a, uh, lag with uh, <laughs> the capture yeah with ndi yeah because uh, i'm on a different screen right now but uh that's strange let me see oh i see the, the i see my ndi crashed <laughs> ah it's not it's not active anymore all right um i see now cinebench yeah cinebench should be uh yeah okay yeah now it's working again all How right. does it run a Microsoft uh, Flight Simulator? Smooth. I believe uh, they, they uh, released a patch uh, also last week which increased performance 10%. So that's a good step. <coughs> so is your capture now working? Yeah, okay, so cool. um, I'm going to push this and also show you guys you know, just uh, how much power the CPU is going to draw uh, and how the temperature is going to get. And of course, the use is going to be 99 or 100%. But uh, of course, let's get it going because this is always the hallmark of all benchmarks. Can you maybe show at the same time the, uh, the, 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 the graphs for the temperatures, etc.? Yeah, sure. Uh, let me just uh, put this. I'll put them okay, on top. I'm gonna run and then just put it up. Yeah, indeed, so. indeed. It's quite small. <clears throat> but I can try to tell you. So, guys. what is the configuration of this one? So we're talking about 10 uh, 900K right now with RTX 3080 uh, with uh, 64 gigs. Uh, let me just uh, open, see if I can. And Cinebench is pure uh, CPU power performance. Yeah. Uh, so make it a little bit bigger for you guys to uh, to read. So right now the CPU is running at 100% and it's uh, drawing close to 190 watts. Uh, temperature wise it's a sitting at 70 Celsius degrees. <clears throat> and well, I'm sitting like literally right next to the desktop, and I believe you didn't really hear the desktop really blowing up in noises. And if you yeah, did, even the echo is on. <laughs> so I, I if you did, you must have the ears of a bat. But uh, <laughs> if you didn't hear it, let us know because I'm sitting right next to it. And what I'm trying to say is that, uh, let me do it again, is you know, with uh, our own customized, uh, custom made uh, all in one water cooling, it is. I'm not talking right now. You're running at 100%. It's really silent. So I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, you have the power right here to cool down the 1900 K beast and also stay silent while doing so because it's not going up higher than 70 degrees while running at 100%. So that's, uh, you know, it can run up to 90 even, and it's going to be no problem. Strange Panda saying they have RTX noise cancellation on. Actually, uh, we also have a noise cancellation uh, software which comes with the Easy Ti 5 and Ja wanted to do a live demo, but it's, it's quite complicated uh, with all the uh, audio capturing plugs, etc. And uh, yeah, we <coughs> actually already did a, when was that Ja, like two months ago? That's uh, I believe when, I, when I was about playing guitar two months ago. Yeah, so let me just quickly show you since we're talking about it. Uh, so the score for Cinebench before I leave is six thousand two hundred. Can you put it on screen because you zoomed in? Oh, like this. <laughs> Still not. <laughs> no, I zoomed in, right? I can see it yes, quite well. Yes, so yes, yes, yes. Yeah, it's actually uh, with this uh, with this multi uh, CPU uh, multi thread performance. It's actually just sitting behind the 1950X uh, Ryzen Threadripper. So just 400 points behind. 
Ja, maar dat is dus dan core en dat is de 16 core. Ja. Right, and so you probably also, I mean, I think without NDI capturing, it's also a few percent, like two or three percent faster. Yeah, because this also requires uh, the process power from your CPU, so it's actually being quite busy right now. But uh, let me just quickly, quickly show you what Eric was talking about uh, earlier with... Uh, Can you zoom out a little bit? It's still zoomed in? How do you zoom out and then... Okay, let me just turn off the zoom. What kind of zoom are you using? It's uh, the zoom from uh, the capture device. Ah, okay, okay. So, in our Dragon Center, you have the noise cancel, which is, uh, someone mentioned the RTX noise cancel. This is not the RTX noise cancel, but um, this is the MSI Soundtune, which is also a AI-based uh, noise cancel cancellation software. So, basically, it's very easy. All you have to do is choose whatever device it is you want to cancel the noise uh, from, so the speaker. And you can also choose from the microphone where, ca where you want to uh, cancel the noise for. And then all you left, all that's left to do is open the specific software that you're using, Discord, Skype, uh, Microsoft Teams, whatever it is, and you choose, um, you know, uh, the input device. Instead of, for example, the GH50 gaming headset, you choose the GH50 gaming headset sound, uh, sound tube. So with that one, all the signals that's coming through and going out will be AI uh, noise cancelled. And, and we did it really a works. Whole live stream regarding, you know, Eric was playing guitar. Uh, you know, I, I was uh, playing. Faking, faking to play guitar. You did, you did pretty well. I mean, the chat was pretty happy. <laughs> and, you know, I was playing uh, loud uh, construction noises uh, on the background, you know, having the fan blown right next to me into yeah. the microphone. Big fan and later. everybody was blown away by the results. So yeah. yeah, if you're interested after live stream, you can check that out. Just uh, type in uh, MSI Soundtune uh, live stream on YouTube. MSI Insiders, yeah. yeah. Go to our uh, playlist. But okay, so um, so so yeah, a few questions. Somebody is starting to threaten me to answer questions, so then I'm threaten going to answer. Threaten you? <laughs> you better answer. Eric. Uh, how much is the most expensive model of the PC? We already answered that. Yeah. No, actually, it's it's about 5K with everything. F Five thousand US dollars with everything uh, maximum. So Killcam, I hope that answers your question. Yeah, so you see the temp, in case you missed this one, they're still here uh, in the graph. So the power, uh, it never went higher than 194 watts. Uh, temperature never got higher than 72 degrees. And the CPU was running at 100% at the time. Okay, so, um, now going into gaming, finally. So I have three games lined up for you guys to uh, show you guys the demos, uh, the power, the performance, and uh, the temperature with once again to see what it does on like a longer term. Uh, first, let me just turn off this uh, zoom in. Okay. So first of all, I'm going to use the Metro Exodus uh, benchmarking tool. Uh, you guys should notice like Metro is really one of the most uh, graphically intensive games out there, like even now. And uh, it has a built-in uh, benchmarking tool. So with yeah, this that's one, a problem. A lot of games they they don't have a built-in benchmark, and then it's yeah. very difficult to get uh, reliable results to compare. So uh, here uh, I'm going to use Extreme, uh, and then I can also show you what the performance will be with RTX on. So right now, just go to Extreme with uh, so that means everything maxed out, you know, really ultra settings. So I'm not going to change anything here. Uh, so obviously we have 3080 in here. Uh, I'm not really interested in showing you the 1080p performance because this is really where it should use 4040p. Also, uh, you know especially tailored with a 1440p gaming monitor and also the 4K performance. That's also what I'm going to show you. So let's just go for 1440p. <coughs> Everything else staying normal and DLSS is off. And then I'm going to show you what the difference is when the DLSS is on. Shading rate, oh, this should be just 100%. Okay, uh, run. So after this, I'll uh, play around a little bit in um, Horizon Zero Dawn. So I'm going to go into Edwin game. is saying, age warning. 
I will get into the game itself and then uh, just walk around a bit and show you, you know, the, the live FPS uh, count and uh, what you can do with some settings to you know, get even a higher count for the FPS. And then at last, I'll uh, play some. Uh, no. <coughs> and at last, I'll uh, play a, a little bit of a Valorant to see, uh, you know, with esports uh, stuff like that, competitive games, you know, what can you get out of this beast, even a 1440p and even a 4K. Uh, okay, let me see what is going on. Benchmark process is running. Okay, so. uh, seems like Metro 2000 just crashed for again. some reason. <laughs> let me try it again. Ooh, maybe you should not zoom because I see your resolution is different. Yeah. <coughs> yeah, I just turn it off and see. Uh, let's see if that was the issue. Close the program. It can easily get confused by these resolution changes. <coughs> Okay, uh, extreme, 1440p, and 100, do, 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 the other side is off, and run. Another copy of the is already running. Okay, let me just completely shut it down. Okay, no, it's now you're zoomed in, no, no, now no, you have no, a different it's resolution. Off. It's off. No, Kay. yeah. Mm. Wait, did the resolution go back to 1080p, you mean? Mm, looked like it, yeah, but let's let's just wait. Ah, <laughs> now it's running. I think we need to spend uh, some hours benchmarking and then checking this NDI stuff. No, it's still sitting at 1440p. But... Uh But I, I cannot see the whole screen. No. Check the capture. <coughs> okay. Uh, I so think I, find, I think I finally know what the issue is. So I have probably to the scanner. No, the scanner is off. Uh, I think the problem is that Windows is sitting at 4K resolution right now. Mm. Yeah, there is no zoom from the capture. So let me just turn this back to 1440p and then. We're good to go. Any news on the 3070 release date? Uh, yes, uh, it will be released on the 15th of October, Thursday, the 15th of October. And that's also the date when we're going to do a live stream. So now you switch back to 4040p and you're uh, running the game 4040p. Yeah. We need uh, to make a checklist. Seems like it's working fine. Yes. Uh, guys, let us know if there's uh, audio issues. Um, yes, I have audio issues because... Oh no, it's working. Yeah, maybe... Don't maybe lie, Eric. Yeah! You did it! Yeah. <laughs> it's working with audio. All right, guys, so as you can see... Normally it takes you two hours. Okay, I didn't one prepare hour. like for two hours, right? So yeah, that's true. The, 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 the math checks out. So at 1440p, everything at extreme, so maxed out. Uh, DLSS is off, and so everything just raw, and we're getting at between 60 and 78 FPS. <coughs> and this game was notoriously known for uh, really putting us, uh, your gaming desktop to the test. Yes. So right now you have more than just a smooth experience with uh, yeah this kind of uh, title. <laughs> Mummy and Daddy are fighting. No. You now sometimes it's just so confusing because. When I uh, run the game like in the game itself and I change resolution, no problems, but uh, somehow with the benchmark, it, there is a problem. Yeah, maybe we need to really write down what steps we need to take to, to if we switch g resolutions and then we're capturing it with NDI, um, yeah. that it doesn't interfere. And we need <laughs> to find out what the, what the impact of NDI capturing is, how many percent. Okay, so uh, just finished and it was, uh, let's see, average frames 71.69, so 72, max frame was 130, 
and the one percent low was uh, 43 so there you have it and th what, what was this setting yeah I'm going to go to the setting again so everything extreme maxed out and DLSS was off okay so now let me try again but this time with uh, yeah, RTX on, and then we'll go for DLSS. It's on, uh, blah, 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 blah. Everything again maxed out and see what it does now. I see people uh, talking about 38 pricing. Yeah, we already uh, mentioned last week. It's always supply and demand. Uh, there is so much demand. And supply is not that bad. Uh, actually, if we compare it to 2080 and 1080, uh, in so some uh, moments, it's even better than that. Uh, but yeah, it just takes time. Uh, I'm sure in a few weeks, maybe a few months time, situation will be much better and, and the prices will be more realistic like what we talked about last week live stream when we talked about 3090 uh, MSRP pricing <coughs> what so CPU oh sorry yeah, yeah you starting continue. right away we see it's doing much better uh, close to 100 uh, FPS even now with RTX to max So previously, without DLSS, uh, around this scene, it was sitting around 70-ish, 70, 80-ish, and now we're sitting around 90 and above 100 FPS. And the quality of the image, it's the same, if not better. So, you know, with the improved DLSS, you really can see the, like, the quality difference compared to like, the first gen. And uh, right now, it's really, worth, uh, <laughs> it's really worth it because it does really give you the extra FPS. Because right now, it's already sitting in like, around 15 FPS average above the previous stacks. And now you actually have like, full RTX on. So this is the kind of performance that we're expecting. And at 1440p, everything maxed out. and everything is already running at its max and uh, you guys can tell me if you are like hearing you know a lot of uh, desktop noises from the fans or stuff because everything is running at its max <laughs> no the, <laughs> so they hear the game audio or the benchmark audio yeah but if it's really loud you can hear through it because i'm literally sitting next to it with my microphone yeah. it stutters slightly yeah th this is always with the uh, with the capturing, um, we're using a certain protocol to capture, to, uh, it's called NDI, I, it's quite easy, it works over the network, so you don't need a capture card, you just plug in, you connect your computer to the network and you can uh, broadcast uh, the captured uh, desktop or whatever you're playing uh, to another PC, in this case to our stream PC, and that takes some uh, processing power and sometimes like last week with 3090, we see some uh, strange behavior. So maybe we just need to get back to like a capture card. But capture card also has limitations. Uh, it's um, impossible to do 4K capturing. Well, there are 4K capture cards. Uh, but yeah, you need to have the right one with like, if you want to do uh, higher FPS, um, HDR, maybe also interesting. Yeah. So uh, as you can Work see the end results, everything is better. So uh, previously it was like 71.69 or something. So it's actually gotten 12 FPS on average more. Now with RTX to full, uh, with everything else staying the same to the extreme. And the 1% uh, low was also lower than this. Uh, so yeah, everything actually got better and DLSS really took care of a lot of that, even with RTX on to the max quality. Um, yeah, and... Um, Let's go to, so that performance alone was like quite damn well for 1440p maxed out. And uh, let's go and see Horizon I'm going to Zero. do another lucky jaw. Yeah, you do that while uh, I start my game. Actually, let me close this. Um, Shut draw. off. Okay. Why don't I just uh, start a game by uh, using my fancy gaming knob? Can I maybe show that in detailed cam? Horizon. No. Just opened it. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to do a lucky draw. Uh, next one is called Python. Python, congratulations. Uh, in the coming 
days, uh, we will send you an email with a Steam voucher code. Please enjoy it. Um, yeah, everybody can still participate. So this was Horizon. This is uh, Horizon Zero Dawn. Yeah. It zoomed oh. in, do you see? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, let me uh, change the resolution because it needs to be 4K. I just changed to 1440p. So now it's fine. Oh, still not fine. But that's not. Uh, what, what were you changing? That's scaling. That's not resolution. No, no, I changed the resolution. Yet. Oh. Scaling stayed the same. We didn't touch it. And uh, then you need to change the capture. Not? Display is also in 4K. So you need to change the capture. And the eye. No, don't think so, because there's nothing to change. Yeah, because also the, your desktop is not fully displayed, your wallpaper. Mouse on, mouse off, mouse pointer on, yeah, mouse yeah, pointer yeah, yeah, yeah. off. Yeah, let's do this and hey. do this. There's so many steps to this. I know, we need to make a manual. So many steps. But now it's like 4K, yeah, I, I would so say. As you can see here, guys, uh, 3840 by 2160. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, graphics, ultra, ultra. Wait, let me just put it back to ultra quality. All right, apply. Yes. And then you get into the game, continue. This is one beautiful looking game. It's loading. And you know, some games might take uh, you know quite some time to load, but uh, if you have like a uh, regular SSD or even hard disk, that was going to take even longer. And that can be <laughs> really annoying sometimes. A uh, question in chat, will there be a uh, uh, 3070 Ventus X3? Yes, uh, 3070 we will have Ventus X2. Something is really bothering you. It's called like that, but basically we have two fans and we have one version with three fans. All right, guys, so I'm now playing comfortably above 60 FPS, uh, sometimes reaching 70, and depending on what I've seen, it's going to be 70 plus, close to 80. Uh, everything maxed out, and remember, this is at 4K, and this game is really graphically intensive. Yeah, I, I, was, uh, I was earlier trying to say I didn't Being like nice. this game. I tried My to like life, start playing it. Valley. But the, the, the graphics, I mean, the settings, Two everything days. is awesome. Two days until I get answers. And, and I was really looking Two forward to it because, I'll like, she was. PlayStation 4. And <laughs> I always yeah. cast out You know, it was a hype game. As if there could be an excuse for that. But yeah, in All the right. end, I didn't like Time it. To get I'm more like, I, I need guns. It's too slow for you. I should find no, well, I mean, I don't like uh, this, this like arrow stuff and, and bow and axes. I can also uh, use the spear. Yeah, but where are the bazookas? Where are the Ah, the tanks, the and uh, UAVs and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> that's I understand, I understand totally, yeah. Yeah, so that, that's... It's gonna be your kind of game, if you uh, are into these kind of games. Because, yeah. uh, you know, some people are just really but into FPS and shooters. Awesome. Definitely. Uh, but, uh, yeah, so sitting comfortably at 70 right now, and if I switch to 1440p, you'll notice an immediate big difference. <clears throat> so... As you can see, what happened, uh, instead of 70, I went to 110. So this machine handles 4040p, the newest AAA titles, like a boss. Doesn't matter your uh, quality presets, uh, you know, everything ultra or not, you know, I'm running comfortably like above 100 FPS. <laughs> you, you, are, you are jumping around like you're playing Counter-Strike. <laughs> I know you. Two more days. And I'll know yeah, what it's except, like in there. Uh, yeah, except I don't so have many people right, so crammed in one place. But uh, you know, I, I didn't even no bother to tweak the there. game a little bit because this game was actually also quite known for you know if you tweak the clouds, you can it can give you like 20 FPS on average more yeah. because some settings are just you know insignificant but still give you a lot of effect. So. You know, 4040p right now, everything maxed out. I'm sitting comfortably above 100 FPS. And if I want to have even more, I can go to settings. You know, for example, you know, shadow, just go put it to high because it's not that important. There's not that much of a difference. Reflections, it's okay. Only if you're dead, high. you're looking to the sky, right? Yeah, and cloud, you know, I whenever do you actually look at the cloud. So this and I just turn it to medium. Uh, motion blur, never have it on. We don't like motion blur. Calculation to high. Blah, 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 blah. And with all these kind of little changes, you don't even notice actually in the real game 
like what did you actually change and I actually gained a 10 FPS just like that yeah walk around because it really depends on the scene mm -hmm. yeah but I mean this scene but before I moved it was like 107 yeah and exactly after setting it became 117 so that's what yeah. I mean like in the exact same thing I gained 10 FPS so yeah guys um, 4040p Horizon Zero Dawn, piece of cake with this, everything maxed out. Now, no, 4K, this is 4K, this right? Now. Yeah, this is 1440p now. 4K oh, 44p, okay, yeah. yeah. And at 4K, I was uh, sitting comfortably between 70 and 60 FPS. Yeah. Uh, can, can, uh, I think after we're going to display this. Ah, we will check tomorrow. Then, then we can show the resolution after the <coughs> Uh, sure, it can, but uh, yeah, we can no set time it up for, for that next now. time. Uh, let me show you. So everything here was, uh, let's see, the GPU was running at 99% uh, when I was in the game. Uh, the temperature never got higher than uh, 77 degrees with our uh, MSI uh, 3080 Fentus 3X. And the wattage, uh, the, it never got higher than 300 and 10 watts so that's like 310 you have to keep in mind and then for the GPU, uh, CPU it was averaging about 84 so right now you're sitting at let's just say give or take 400 watts with uh, two of your most uh, main, uh, well, main components making or drawing the most power being pushed well the CPU of course in this case being pushed less than the GPU because you're playing at 1440p and 4k but nonetheless if that's going to be your resolution and how you're gonna play you will have plenty of headroom left for uh, you know future upgrade for uh, over uh, overclocking because right in here there's a 750 gold standards FX uh, PSU so you have a, co a comfortable 300 watts left for all the other stuff that you can uh, well use it for so you know earlier somebody asked regarding uh, you know what's going to do when you, uh, when the system is going to be uh, performing at its max and drawing power you know is 70 50 watts enough and we said you know we're going to show you and literally this is it and uh, okay so that's like horizon zero dawn and um, I'm going just to uh, do a real quick walk around in Valorant uh, just to show you guys. Uh, you know those. More, you uh, and, and walking around in Valorant probably killing. Nah, I don't think we uh, have the luxury right now to do some uh, actual killing. But, uh, okay. um, some questions in the chat. Let me see. She looks crazy. Huh. <laughs> okay, maybe we don't get to uh, do Valorant uh, after all because uh, yesterday when I played this, uh, <laughs> there is an update. There was no update, but now when I started, it's there's always an like that. Uh, um, how long is it going to take? When is MSI refreshing the laptop lineup uh, with the 3000 series card? Uh, sorry, I don't know, and probably it's not known yet because of unannounced products. Be patient, my friend. <clears throat> okay, so now it's like at one third. Uh, okay, I think we're going to make it. But then it's going to be real quick. Just, uh, you know, for you guys. Uh, because Some headshots. A lot of the guys uh, out there are very interested in uh, competitive games, including myself. So, you know, you might be wondering, you know, what can this bring? You know, on the competitive scene, you know, on uh, different uh, resolutions. This is Jahe's excuse, like, I want to play. Yeah, I mean, I'm literally getting paid right now to play this, right? So why not make use of it? <laughs> Is a 3070 an option for the Easy Ti5? Yes, when 3070 will be available, uh, uh, it's an option. Minecraft RTX is better. <laughs> I, I, li I really like Minecraft. First I of all, I like Minecraft and I'm looking forward to RTX Minecraft, but yeah, yeah I don't have an RTX I'm, card. I'm, I'm probably going to make a lot of people mad, but uh, no matter if I'm you know, having HSTI 5 inside my home or not, I never really understood why people play Minecraft. Yeah, I have two kids. They, they love it, you know? Yeah, Together we go why? into the what's, dungeons. What's, what's the point? Uh, what's the point? Minecraft. I never understood what's the point. 
Like literally, what's the point of the game? I'm not it's, saying it's pointless. I'm you, saying what is the point of the game? Uh, what do you do? You building, build crafting, exploring. But why everything looks like cubicles? No, my, my kid's, you know, he's, he's five years old and he's making a house. But and I'm like, like, I recognize the roof. But, but, but really? Damn, they have damn good eyes. No, no, no. Everything no. looks like cubicles to me. Yeah, that's uh, it's like big <laughs> pixels. Yeah. But of course, you know, yeah, uh, I'm just joking, but uh, I understand, you know, why people like it. You know, some people like this kind of games, and I personally just. What's the point of playing really with Lego? See. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not fancying it. And uh, we're almost there, guys. Keep the questions coming. We just have 10 <laughs> seconds left till we can start a game. So. <laughs> Matthew uh, is a classic uh, World of Warcraft, World of Warcraft wow, player. I never played uh, that. Did you? An old dog. Well, um, I purposely never got into it. Exactly. Because I knew once I did, I would have no, la uh, no, yeah. no more life. Everybody, I had some friends, you know, that were addicted to it. And I was like, uh, don't touch it because yeah, it will me take too. too many hours. Like back in the days, two of my best friends were addicted to it. And they literally had, had like no life anymore. Their life was like inside that game. They had their own clans, their communities. They do raids. They have their own forums. You know, they, they trade. They, oh my God. <laughs> It sounded fun, but I was like, yeah, I'm very susceptic, uh, sub, susceptic, sub, god damn it, it's been too long. I want to say sus suspective, never mind. <coughs> I'm, uh, I can enjoy this for another hour, yeah? Yeah, I'm sure you do, Eric. <laughs> I'm sensitive to addiction when it comes to gaming, let me just put it that way. Because, uh, I mean, CSGO is just a competitive Chat game. is already helping. There's no rooting. But I'm not going to pronounce it because I probably have the same problem. Susceptible. Thank you, Eric. You could have, uh, you could have, stepped, sure in, pronounced correctly. Could have stepped in a little sooner. But, um, no, uh, Chat helped me. Oh, really? Yeah. How? You still have to pronounce it. No, well, uh, yeah, that's, it was a guess. Yeah, Let me guess if it, was, if it was correct. Susceptible, yeah. Sometimes when my mouth is like so dry, like suscept susceptible. <sighs> okay, we were doing this. Uh, let me just show you first uh, what resolution here we're sitting in. So, uh, video. Okay, sorry. Resolution um, 4K. And then, so again, quality. which game? Valorant. Everything all max sitting at 4k and let's see if you are like the kind of competitive player and You're fancying a new 4k gaming monitor because why not because you have a 3080 inside of this bad boy uh, Well match you found. can expect something like this and um, Let's see three two one. I'm gonna get in the game See how bad I'm gonna suck Should be your kind of game <clears throat> I mean, yes, on the other hand, on, uh, on the one hand, but on the other hand, it's like so similar to CSGO, but they mix you have to, yeah, but it's like the, the, the shooting mechanism is like so different, like it's kind of the same, the, the principle is the same, but the patterns are completely different, so mm -hmm. you have to relearn all the new patterns. And that's really frustrating. Yeah, that's with a lot of games. And I'm not sure if I'm really digging the, uh, the drawing cartoonish mm -hmm. Fortnite look. Mm -hmm. So, uh, but uh, yeah, if I'm getting like the ESSD F5 with uh, uh, 10 uh, 900K and uh, 3080, I would want to know how it's gonna do in the competitive scene. So let's see how it's gonna do. 20 seconds left. It's like waiting all over again. <coughs> so. Tell me, guys, uh, if you're like right now more interested in gaming in like 1080p or 1440p, hey, you need to pick the champ. Or even considering yeah. select your well, agent. You need to pick the champ. Totally forgot about that one. So, what are you more interested in? Thanks, Chad. Cubans, yeah, he really. Uh, Really saved me, huh? With uh, three seconds left. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just put it this way, guys. I usually don't play this game, but it seems like I didn't choose deathmatch, but a uh, team game. Same. Mm, but it's it should be casual. So Reloading. right off the bat, I'm setting <laughs> about 300 FPS plus. 
Uh, moving around, 300 FPS. And this is at 4K with max settings. You can buy something. Reloading. Mm -hmm. So, uh, yeah, I mean, let's just go for this. I guess we have a lot of uh, Valorant uh, fans over here. So what are you guys saying? 1440p, 1080p? All right, let's just go walk around a little bit. Oh, we dropped below 300, whoa. Revealing 350, disappointing. 330, 370. I have the spike. Yeah. Yeah. He was camping, I mean, think of I mean, he's living up for nothing, uh, kill here. But he still has the FPS, so 300, 350, 380. Well, so if you, if I if you play like this, you can't enjoy not, the things. That omen can be killed. <laughs> I'm not trying to enjoy for once, so uh, I'm sacrificing my skills and my uh, pride for you guys. <laughs> so I just changed it back to 1440p, and let's see what it does. <clears throat> Wait. <clears throat> it's capturing now correctly. I think you also have to uh, change the NDI scan tool. No? I think it's kept on correctly. Everything is uh, visible. Yeah, reloading in front of the other one. So just to make sure, once again, everything is still set to yeah, max. 40p. Enemy spotted. <clears throat> so in the last other thing, also, this game standing. is also quite uh, CPU bound, just like you know, playing the uh, one enemy yeah. remaining. And you can see that uh, there actually isn't that much difference between uh, 4K and 40p. <sighs> And let's just take a look at. Uh, where is it? Uh, here. Hardware info. Um, yeah, GPU is not really pushed to the max. I mean, it's shuffling between. How will fix the volume? 90% and 70%, 80%. It's, it's not constantly being pushed to the max because. Uh, yeah, this is also uh, quite more CPU bound. I see somebody uh, saying that 4K 144Hz monitors uh, are still quite expensive. Um, yeah, that's true. In the, in I expect in the coming year this to come down quite quickly to more affordable pricing. Ja, mm. Twilight is asking about pricing for the Easy Ti5. Yep. Yeah. Uh, depending on you know, what kind of configurations you get, uh, it starts at 300 and 3,500 uh, US dollars. Uh, and depending on where you are, this also differs. We also we always say this explicitly because uh, you know every country has its own uh, VAT and stuff like that and uh, other stuff that comes to uh, comes to light. It starts at three. 1,500 and the highest, uh, the most high tier one is uh, sitting at 5,000 US dollars. And uh, yeah, well guys, I hope uh, we have shown you, uh, we've shown you plenty of uh, stuff and materials and the performance regarding, you know, what you can expect with this and uh, what a gaming up will do, will do. And um, yeah, if you have any questions left, you can still ask them right now. And otherwise, I'm going to drive away on uh, the ESS TI5. <laughs> Perhaps if you fly away because of the wings, wings as somebody mentioned before. Yeah. Where is it? And if not, then, uh, well, we're going to say goodbye to you okay, guys. Can you maybe show the slide with the live streams we prepare for the coming weeks? Yeah, but uh, I mean, just if no questions, then we're going to, you know, next week and stuff like that. And uh, let's go. <clears throat> Destiny 2 benchmarks. Is anybody playing Destiny 2 here? I know I thought that game kind of died, but uh, I guess not. Is it also a free game, right? 
It's um, actually I don't remember if, I if it that was, was not a sure. free game. Yes, thank you. So uh, something uh, for the coming weeks uh, schedule. Uh, so next week we're going to uh, talk with Seagate. Uh, Seagate will be our guest. We have a lot of uh, different uh, uh, storage here. And we're going to talk how to optimize uh, your gaming storage uh, with all kinds of interfaces. Week after, we will not be live on Wednesdays or regular Wednesdays, but we will go live on a, a Thursday. La ja. Yep. <coughs> yes, thank you, because we're I going to talk start. about the RTX 3070, <laughs> uh, which will be really interesting. And then the week after, on the again, back to Wednesdays, uh, Ja, uh, you're going to talk about all the... <laughs> yeah. Uh, different uh, MSI gaming desktops, which will be upgraded with RTX 30, right? Yeah. Uh -huh. All so the configurations. Then we can do maybe some Destiny 2 benchmarking. Yeah, if you guys like to see that, we can uh, arrange something maybe. And can I borrow this uh, EasyCI 5 for next week? No, I already coached that gun. No, <laughs> but I mean, yeah. then I have something to <coughs> test Thunderbolt. Uh, you can search for something else. I mean, I can Come finally on. play something in 4K and uh, 70 FPS and 80 FPS, so I'm going to uh, enjoy that. <laughs> All okay. right, guys. Uh, yeah, so uh, tune in next week, definitely. No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. <gasps> I will do another giveaway. Oh, okay, Eric's going to do another giveaway. Why not? I mean, <laughs> such a mother Teresa. Uh. Let's see. Today's last winner. And next week, we have a very nice giveaway. Oh. We're going to talk about storage, so... Oh, let me guess what's going to be given away. Hmm, so hard to guess. That's for next week. Uh, the next, w the last winner is called Alex. <laughs> Intel Alex? No, mm, I, no. Perhaps he's to go on the cover. But uh, yeah. congratulations, Alex. Uh, yeah. Hope you have fun with the $20 Steam wallet code. And uh, to all of the guys, uh, you know, next time, better luck. Because there's always more. And yeah, guys, hope to see you guys uh, next week. Definitely tune in for uh, the storage uh, optimization live stream and uh, have a good day. And really happy that you stopped by. And thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye bye. Bye bye.